Okay guys, welcome back for part two of this video. We, we're gonna break the videos up a little bit because I can ramble people's ears off. Woo! And I like, oh, hey, Mrs. Rambly Bob's still here. Hi. Um, I, I, I wanna make sure that uh, the videos are t a little short because like I said, my videos can go very long, but we get a lot of positive feedback with the, with the videos and uh, we appreciate that much because we really enjoy making them and helping people learn about our favorite new hobby. Okay, so uh, once again, the E300 LFP, this bad boy here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this little thing uh, underneath it just so you can see it better I'm gonna prop it up a little bit I'm gonna give it its props see see what I did there okay uh, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna hook up the um, uh, the app right away guys so there's there's a step you have to do to do the app and uh, mrs. rambling Bob was reading through the instruction booklet because I never read them okay yeah she, yeah, she heard that okay yeah. um, I always like to try to figure out, guys. I like puzzles. Okay, so um, I always tap. Okay, so uh, here I'll put it over here. Okay, so now what you have to do to to get the uh, Wi-Fi ready to to uh, uh, connect or the app ready to connect is uh, Mrs. Ramley Bob found out that you have to hold down the AC and the DC yeah. for three seconds. Okay, One, and two. Three. Okay, and notice that the wireframe once again is flashing on this battery bar here. And now what will happen is you'll get a little Wi-Fi probably pop up somewhere. There it is. Look at that Yay. bad boy. And then as soon as that's up, guys, make sure that your phone is connected to your internets uh, or the webs. You got to get on the webs, right? Is it the webs? Not the webs. You got to get on the webs. Okay, and then you go to Power Station. Well, this is mine. And then I go to my Pecron, and then that opens up. And uh, let's see here. I don't know which side you have. I'll put it on this side because I'm right handed. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> now it's opening up the uh, app here. Uh, it says, okay, welcome to use Pecron. Welcome, blah, blah. Please enter your account and your password. Holy crap, Zilla, guys. I have to register. I thought I was registered already. Oh, you know what? I bet you have to register. Well, hold on, hold on a minute now. I thought I was registered already. Uh, oh, boy. Okay. All right, guys, give me one second. I have to re-enter my password in there, and uh, I'll be right back. Hold on one second. Okay, guys, we are back, and I'm going to put this underneath here. I had to uh, sign into my account here, so I had to put the password in, so that's why I had to pause the video here. Yeah. Okay, so uh, system, and now uh, we're going to do that again here, and uh, okay, let's do, hold these two down, right? Mm -hmm. It's charging pretty good here. Let's... Uh, all right i had to find the password so once you do it again you hold down dc and ac for a few seconds and that'll flash and then the wi-fi thingy will come up over here let's see where are your wi-fi thing there it is okay so we got the wi-fi thingy okay uh that little signal flashes there hopefully you can see that and then we're going to add a new what have you and i always do nearby devices look at that e300 lfp and then you hit that one a little plus and then you're going to hit this, and it's probably going to ask me for a password again. There's my password again. Okay, uh, next. And then there you go. So you have to obviously give this uh, access to your password of your network. Now, that's I don't like that, guys. I don't like that. Uh, we change our password here all the time on our network and safety. And then usually when it gets about halfway around that little circle ball thing, uh, usually it connects with the E1500 LFP. Let's see what this one does. Um, oh, there you go. So add it successfully. Yay. Okay, done. So at least it was is better uh, better than the first one that we did. Yeah. Okay, and then we're gonna go here, and actually, you know, we don't need to change the name. No. Um, hit save, <clears throat> and then there you go. So you have the E three hundred LFP and the E fifteen hundred LFP. You know what? Let's. Uh, uh how do you change the name again oh anyway we'll do that next time okay so we're going to click on this and now i believe we have full access to this little bad boy through the app let's see if the app works let's see if the app uh reacts better with this system than it did with the e1500 lfp okay so we're at eight percent we're at eight percent it says 235 ac this says 240 so that's still a little bit off i think Petron has to uh uh fine tune i think see 237 now it's 237 so either there's a little delay mm -hmm. or they have to fine tune it it's like a second or few, a few seconds off it's yeah it seems like a few seconds yeah okay so uh, you know the, like i said this is their first system the power factor is still on one uh a hundred percent there uh, 1.0 which is impossible uh, even though we don't have the any load to it, uh, usually the power factor is usually not 100% when you use anything. Um, here's your LED light. Look at, now, that's different than the other Woo! one, right? So you can hit that button. And then here, look at that. Oh, there's different levels to the LED. I had no idea. Look at that. Okay. So here's 100%. 
Did you see any difference? I didn't see yeah, any difference. Yeah, I got brighter. Oh, it did? Okay, and then there's SOS mode. So that's a flight. Yeah, there you go. Save our ship. Okay, so, and then I assume that you click it again, and it turns it off. Let's see if I'm correct. Oh. Didn't do it. Okay, let's. Maybe hold it? Hold it down? Okay. Bam. Nothing. Okay, well, that's kind of weird. Is there an off? Maybe there's an off here? Oh, here. Oh, my gosh. I didn't see it. It's right in front oh. of my nose. So, there's obviously a simple button right here, guys. Okay. I knew that I was testing this as Rambling Bob. I didn't know that. I was, that, that that's what's fun about these reviews, guys. These are in real time. These aren't scripted. It's not commercials. Um, you're seeing uh, what exactly you would go through if you pop this open at your house for the first time. People at home are going, there's a button! I know. Yeah. It's, guys, you got to talk louder next time. I couldn't hear you. <laughs> so, you can see it's charging pretty quick here. Uh, we got it down to 1% here while we were waiting. Um, we wanted to do a full cycle before we started this review here. Uh, let's see. Uh, notice that it says UPS already when it's connected to the wall, so that's a good thing. So we know that this system has UPS built in there. Um, let's turn on the DC button here. Yeah. Look at that. It turned on. Simple, right? Very simple. I, I I like apps that are very right to the point. I don't like to goof around with, you know, the 75,000 options, guys. I just want simple options, uh, uh, you know, just so I can get it done and, and go back to what I was doing here. Um so you have all these options down here. Here's your alarm records here, your battery. Here's your user manual, which is nice. Uh, I believe you have to be online to access that, guys. Um, and then here's your input output settings and then your system settings. So the one thing I want to check right away is the battery pack. Now you can access the battery pack either here where it says view results or you can hit it here on the battery pack. So we're going to do the battery pack and it'll tell you what battery is hooked to this bad boy. And there you go. It says 11%. And what we're going to do is we're going to keep that screen on for the rest of this. Um, very simple. Obviously, there's there's really no, 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 uh, no, nothing about the battery pack. It just says percentage, right? Yeah. But it says 20.9 volts. That means it's a 20 uh, volt battery, uh, 24 volt battery pack. Um, Let's see, uh, 10.9 amps is it charging in 24 degrees Celsius. Guys, I want to see this in Fahrenheit because I don't live across the pond and Celsius always messes me up. So uh, what we figured out is 24 degrees Celsius is, let's see, you add two trees together oh. with, with a pine cone minus a calculator. I think that's like 40, 50 degrees? I have no idea. I'm working on it. She's working on it. Okay, I, I don't know the mathematical formula for this, guys. What do you think it was? 50? 75. 75. See, I'm not even close, guys. No. Holy cow, what a froze. Okay, so it's 70, 24 degrees Celsius is 75 degrees Fahrenheit. That's why it's so confusing, guys. I know that like zero, uh, de, uh, was it 32 is zero Celsius? Am I right with that? Yeah. Okay, good. So I know I know one number, guys. That's it. And, yeah. the, and the rest of it confuses the jeebies out of me. Holy crap, Zilla. Okay, so the battery pack doesn't have much details other than the essentials here. Uh, what's coming in what the uh, voltage of the battery pack is at. We're at 13% already. And uh, so it charges very quickly, guys. This will be done in an hour, hour and a half, something like that. Um, <clears throat> let's see here. Uh, now we got uh, alarm records. Let's do the alarm records. And obviously there's none because we just got the machine. So hopefully, there, well, thank God there's none. Okay, then we back out here. And then we're going to go to the user manual, which is obviously, see, it has to download it. Now, maybe it stores it in there after you download it. But... That's nice to have that, guys. And, of course, you can zoom in there in case you'd be like, I don't know how many how many volts I'm supposed to put in. You know, it, it, it's a good to have this, guys. That's a good backup plan. Always keep that. Okay, now we're going to do input-output settings. Remember, this this is a very simplistic app. It's, it's their first app that they've done. Very simple here. So you have AC charging power 100%. Now, this I like. I like this. It says AC charging power 100%. Oh, yeah. Do you think that you can charge? Look at this. Oh. Oh, so can you can change the AC charging power to a certain percent, guys. So that way it'll never go up above that percent. Now, it's only um, 25, 75, 50. Uh, I, I went backwards. 0, 25, 50, 75, and 100 percent. But you can actually cut it off. So let's let's set it for 25 and see if it, and see if it stops charging at 25 percent. Now, that's nice because you could save your batteries, guys, right? Keep it at 75 percent battery and then use the UPS. And uh, that way you're not, you know, utilizing too much of the batteries. That That's actually pretty pretty new for Pecron. Yeah. For option. Okay, we're going to confirm that and we're going to see... Um, now let's see if that is the actual battery capacity. Oh, nope, that is, okay, so that's, 
I got it wrong, guys, and that's why I said these real reviews are, are, are interesting. So notice it went down to 78%. So what that is, is the charging power is a percentage of a total amount of power that goes into the system. That is a huge plus, guys, because what happens is, uh, oh, I want to uh, let you hear the fan real quick, guys, while it's, while it's on here. So that's as loud as the fan got, okay, just so you can hear that. I had to be quiet while I did that. that okay. <laughs> so now notice the fan is slowly ramping down because remember we were bringing in a hundred percent guys. That's awesome. Or you can set it to zero. Now setting it to zero would obviously turn off mm -hmm. and then you can use the sun and the UPS probably. Oh. So when the sun comes in, it'll charge the battery and otherwise use the UPS. Oh. Maybe it's that. Um, and now, uh, Sounds like if you want to use zero, just unplug it. Well, yeah, but then you didn't have the UPS. I know, I figured Yeah, so it's like a big battery Once pack there. I was like, oh. Ah, uh, no. we still got to test that. But, okay, so the, the, the volume of the fan is obviously dropping. The fan is on this side, guys. I cannot see it through these holes. That's amazing how it, it just, you can't see it. So I don't know what kind of fan they got in there or if it's more in the middle or on the bottom or however it is. But the, the air is coming out. Can I have the uh, the heat gun? Yeah. Mrs. Ramley, Bob? Sure. And then while we're we're uh, waiting for that here, uh, notice that that uh, is at... 25% is a 75 to 80 watts input. Now that's, uh, I, I think, Pecron's answer to uh, the uh, turbo, silent, or normal mode of Blue Eddy. Yeah. Do you think? Oh, that makes sense. Except they have, look at, they have extra levels here. So I thought it was to charge it to a certain battery percentage yeah, and then too. stop. That's what, that's what I thought right away. Um, but uh, yeah, that's, you know, that's really, really good because the slower that you charge the power, if you don't need it, guys, that makes the uh, battery cells last much, much longer. Holy crap, Zilla. You know, if you have a V8 engine and you only get up to 50 or 60 miles an hour on that engine and just idle, that engine doesn't even know it's working. I mean, it'll just idle on the freeway at 50, 60. And then when you go 120, 150, obviously that motor has to work harder, so it gets hotter and burns out those all the little gears and pistons and all that fancy stuff that's in there faster, right? Yeah. yeah okay so uh we're, so we know that it's about up to 80 uh, watts at on the 25 percent now let's go to zero percent and let's see if it cuts it off and uses the ups as we thought it he's gotta wait now notice that this dropped down here guys <clears throat> so it's 11 13 okay so that makes sense guys so now that you're not charging it you're only bringing in from the ups the power that you're using that's a nice addition yeah that's a very so you don't use the batteries at all now the reason it's changing is because you have this screen you have the power inverter on right so if we turn this off it might drop maybe a watt or two that's the dc here and uh what what that's using is it shows you in real time i'm assuming the power oh it actually went up the power that it needed to run this power station alone which is uh the wi-fi the screen the talking thing it's uh oh there it went back down uh so it looks like it uses approximately 13 watts let me turn this on and see if it makes a difference here sometimes the dc is so low you don't even notice it or here i'll turn off the ac and see what that does here okay so that clicked off here and let's see if that changes at all here remember th this has a very slow reaction remember the charging yeah okay so let's see if that changes here all right 16 it's still using 35 watts over here and it shows 16 in so if that was the ups that means it's using wow 36 wow that's good i got to do more tests on that guys okay that doesn't it's dropping a little bit but yeah, that doesn't make much sense. Okay, I got to learn more about that, guys. Holy crapzilla. Okay, real-time learning, guys. Here we go. Okay, so uh, let's see. So that uses 35 watts from the wall. Uh, maybe that uses 35 watts to run the system with all the Wi-Fi and everything. I know the Wi-Fi card is hot. I know that. And you got the UPS going and all the other functions. But uh, here's 20 volt. It's a battery pack. But, yeah, I got to learn more, guys. I apologize for that. Okay, so let's go to back to the... Uh, oh, that's the auto off here. Let's go back to the uh, charging power. And then we're going to go to 50% now and see what that goes up to. And I'm assuming that's going to be in the 90 to 100 range maybe because I think it was like 180 before. Let's see. Oh, 150. Wow, that's 50%. That doesn't seem like... Wow. I got lots to learn, guys. Unless it... Was it 280 charging or 180? Uh... I thought it was 180. Oh. <laughs> we're learning in real time, guys. Okay. So, uh, so 165 on 50%. 
you know, if these options even work at all here, we got to test them. That's what the reviews are for, guys. Like I said, this is not scripted. If we make a mistake here, it's live. You know, we want people to learn, and maybe they made the same mistake or... Uh, oh, yeah, so it was 280. Was 280. Okay. Yeah, was say, yeah so that makes sense. So 300 minus 50% would be about 150. And then this is about 75% here, 250. And then uh, let's go to 100%, guys. So you definitely can either speed charge it or go slow and save your battery cells. So that's cool. Now, this should go up to what, 280 or 300? Oh, yep, yep, there it goes. Holy crap, Zilla. It's like a rocket to the moon. Oh. Oh. Up, and, up and down. Oh, we're, at, we're, on, uh, we're on voltage here. Oh, there we go. 17% here. And then what does this one do? Okay, so 118. So it's 120 volt and 60 hertz output for this. So 254, 256. So it probably ramps up, guys. Um, I'm going to put it, you know, I'll leave, I'll leave it on 100% for now. And then here, this is the no output auto off time. So what that is, is the auto off for... The system, if you're not using any power, it turns off either one hour, two hour, three hour, four hour. I do like Blue Eddie's version where you can set the actual limit of how many powers, oh. it, you know, the wattage. Yeah. And that way, if it goes under five watts, it shuts off. So hopefully they'll implement that. And also, Blue Eddie had on theirs a uh, DC version and an AC version, I believe. Oh, so it knows. Yeah, so you can do either or. So I like that. So I, I believe this app needs a lot of updating, guys. But I, like I said, I can't really hate on them because... Uh, you know, it's their first app, guys. You know, we got to give them some, some kind of uh, space to grow here. Uh, not very many options in there. It's very, very, you know, just straight to the point here. So, you know, this says 19%. Oh, see? So there is a two or three second delay. Yeah. So yeah, no, that's at 18 a second ago, and this says 19. So there is definitely a delay, even though, guys, look at, I'm right here, right? So let's... I move through space and such. Oh, you know what? We're on the uh, Wi-Fi. Yeah. Oh, so this has to talk to your mother Wi-Fi and come back down. Yeah. So, guys, let's try something. Let's, on the fly here, oh boy. Uh, which is probably not a good idea, but that's okay. how you learn. Let's turn off the Wi-Fi and see if it connects back to the Bluetooth itself. It should go right over to the Bluetooth. So we're going to turn off the Wi-Fi, and then we're going to go back to the app here. It says device connection field, and look at that, Bluetooth connected. So now, Bluetooth connected. Okay, let's see if it has got any uh, issues connecting here over and over. Um, oh, so now the- It updated right away to 20 just now. Oh, it did? Okay, so yeah. now obviously through Bluetooth, guys, you have much, much more rapid response because it doesn't have to go up to the internet and all the way back down, or the interwebs. I think they call them the interwebs. But uh, yeah, much better reaction time through Bluetooth, of course, than the whole Wi-Fi system. Because remember, it's got to go all the way to the moon or wherever it's going, back to the signal, back to your phone. So, it, you know, when the Bluetooth can just jump from here to there to there to there, you know, it's simple. The rocket no longer has <clears throat> to go to the moon. Yeah, no more rocket moons. All right, so let's see here. Oh, here you got three. Wow, there's a lot of... You actually get three options here. One hour to charging, mm -hmm. and then you have... 100 and this will say 120 when it's done charging so it's 120 volts and then it also has 60 hertz so it has all three on there nice. that's pretty cool notice it doesn't have the power factor though guys i like when the power factor is on there uh so i wish it had four options here and then the other one has um let's see i think it just has the voltage of the battery pack and the percentage of the batteries so very very simple. I I would like to see the the power factor back on you here, guys. You ever change the bottom one and forget, and you're like, how am I at 209 percent? Yes, yeah. I you know I've done that myself. It's funny that she says that because you look at the battery, yeah. and and you're like 209 percent, and you forget it's on voltage. Better like it hasn't changed in a while, and you're like, I haven't. Tried yes, it. yes, especially if it's in the dark. Yeah. Yeah, and it's like, why isn't the battery percent going up? Or you see that, and it's all the way full. It's like, how can it be at 209 percent of its? Gonna bet yeah. it's 21 percent. Oh yeah. There you go. Okay, so yeah, so it's a, it's a very very uh, yeah, I read your very screen. active now through Bluetooth. I like it. Oh, and wait, 22? 22. And now, notice this output went to like one watt for a second. Huh? See? Yeah. See see that small delay a little bit? So it's probably using a little bit, obviously, with the inverters, but it's so low it doesn't detect exactly how much it's using on the inverters. Like the other systems, guys, the uh, was it the E1500 LFP can't detect a power load under a certain amount of watts we think it's nine or ten watts or seven or six or somewhere in that area we haven't really narrowed it down yet but uh, once it gets to like six or seven it starts showing up on the meter that something's coming out and maybe this does the same here um 
so now we're gonna go down to let's go to system settings now that's the last one guys we're gonna let's keep this on here so you can see in real time here it's 261 coming out of the wall and 237 244 oh see so you got more stuff here I'm looking at him over here. <laughs> okay so here you got uh, eco silent mode guys what is that it says the uh, eco silent mode the machines AC charging is set to 50% okay so you either can set it by yourself to a certain percent in the other option yeah. or you can just go instantly right to eco mode from here so that gives you two ways to basically do the same thing oh. except instead of going to 50 percent you can go down to 25 percent yeah. which is even way uh, slower and and quieter than eco mode silent or turbo <clears throat> yep the automatic shutdown time uh with uh, without output is set to two hours so basically that sets the entire machine from the eco mode of the uh charging right to 50 percent and the timer to two hours so that's like, kind of like a quick a so, quick setting yeah so it's like the two settings we saw before but it's yep. like in one in you one have to go through all that you do it does it itself yep but you yeah. don't get the options of doing different time yeah, but frames. that's like the quick setting like you said like it's like ah this is what i need yep yep now here's the no operation automatically reduced brightness now that's this i <clears throat> I'm so frustrated with that because, guys, if you remember, yep, you just hit that and button turn and turn it off. But remember how many times I did this, guys, on videos? This arm should look like Popeye by now, but it doesn't. As many times as I exercise and hit this button on the other system, and we're at 24%, so it's charging very quickly in one hour until we're done. I like the next one. Um, oh, yeah, machine brightness. Okay, so that would be the screen. That. now you can go to five percent wow five percent would be all the way down okay that's where you can't see it on the screen i don't know if you can see that guys look at that that's and then of course you it's preset uh, uh, force of habit guys see what i mean force of habit so <laughs> that, boy that threw me off there okay oh i was gonna check this too right, we're all over the place today guys we're having a crazy day okay so we're gonna see the the heat coming out of this bad boy 107 and that's remember that's full charging okay so we're gonna watch that throughout. The, uh, see, I did it again. You see that? Mm -hmm. Boy, the force of habit, guys. So you can automatically force it down to five percent, which you can barely see. It, I can see it fine. I know you have trouble seeing it on camera. That would probably help when you're charging, though, right? Like, I mean, I can obviously have the screen off, but if you still want to watch it but not use as much power, you can. Yep, yeah, that, that's as low as it goes. But so that's it, nice, like that, though, because then you can have it on yep. and not have it that bright, so it charges faster. Does that work? Yeah, all all the time, and that means yeah. even when you hit the buttons, the screen never gets bright. Yeah, so but then it's less. Yep. But I do, Energy. that's true, that's true. But yeah. I do like having the option to make it brighter because what oh, yeah. if you're outside or what if you can't see I know, but just for when right. you're charging it, you want to go faster, but you want to keep an eye on it, you know? Yep, yep. Okay, yeah. so you can preset the the uh, 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 machine uh, uh, brightness or you can do, obviously, the auto bright. So what we're going to do is we're going to put it on 100 so that way everyone can see it on the screen here on the video. Um, okay, so those two are done um let's see here there's your device name <clears throat> oh yep your device name if you want to change it obviously uh what what i normally do guys is i take out these last little dots and that's only so you can like say say if you had two of these guys or say, say you lived uh, in an area where people had a few of these you'd know which one is yours obviously so nobody around me has these yet i think i'm the first one here I confirm name mine, mine. Oh, oh oh remember network error so guys you can only re rename a system if you're through the wi-fi not the bluetooth that's 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 good that we just learned that because that way people won't be smashing their phone trying to change it a lot okay so you, you want to say so you know which one's yours i would just name yep. it mine and now i know it's mine Dar Dar Ra rambling bob miss rambling bob's e300 don't be touching you know what i'm saying no you just say mine <laughs> yeah which one is yours? Mine. Yep. And then here's your device sharing management. Now that's if, if uh, me, obviously you need the network to do all these settings. Um, hmm. uh, if Mrs. Rambly Bob wanted to put her phone on this, and I wanted to put uh, one of my tablets or phones on oh. here, then you can share the same device where you don't have to go. Honey, turn the power down. She can grab her phone and turn it down herself if that she makes wants. Makes sense. Yep. That, so no, that's cool. That's cool. Uh, yeah. A lot of systems have that, and that gives multi, uh, multiple usage for one system. But guys, if you have friends that like to pull jokes, uh, they will mess with your on and off buttons, right? <laughs> so Mrs. Rambling Bob will be using this and I'll be in the other room and I'll turn off the inverter and she'll be like, what the heck? And you know, she'll be back here doing all the rambling swear words. Yeah, why well, the lights right? off? Holy crap, Zilla, okay. Well, <laughs> so, and then the last one is obviously to unbind the device. And that's uh, uh, basically if you wanna take your phone off this, make sure guys, this is a big, this is a huge thing guys. If you ever, try to um uh, buy one of these and it's used 
uh, a pre-owned or whatever fancy word they, they want to use uh, you want to buy one from your friend make sure that you understand that if you hold these down you reset the Wi-Fi otherwise you cannot link to this because it'll be under their phone linked already so I, I, I learned that on a system before uh, actually on a bike electric bike remember that yeah so we, we we went to a store we linked it to the bike and then we left and we forgot that we were linked to this bike still so we, we were nice enough to go back mrs rambling bob was nice enough to go back and unlink the bike because the person who bought it at, at, at the store it was a used bike um they uh they wouldn't be able to reset those unless they knew how to reset the system so p please be nice and do that guys for people who uh you know don't know much about these guys otherwise they'll be making all kinds of crapzilla swear words at uh uh, the the yeah. system that they're trying to link up to but uh, v very very to the uh, to the point here here's confirm uh, obviously it's looking for the uh, the internet but no notice that this one is still is online because we should still be connected via Bluetooth let's see if it goes back up there you go and it was a lot quicker and now notice it was at 14% and instantly readjusted to the correct because remember it remembered the 14% when we were online, but once you go to Bluetooth, it auto-corrects in real time. So that's nice, right? Yeah. That's nice that the battery updates itself in real time so you don't have that, that delay. Now it says two hours and three minutes here to fully charge. Um, it said an hour before, but we've been messing with this, so we have to wait. We've been doing a lot with the, uh, uh, you know, the charging and everything. But guys, very, very simplistic. This obviously will take you to the... Uh, the battery see how it updated instantly from 14 to 31 that's nice guys that means that it's paying attention and Pecron had problems with their power meter in the past where it wouldn't update the uh, external batteries um, one thing that I thought of really quick guys that I'd like to test in a, in a future video we're just kind of doing simple tests today uh, is the option of having like an EP or an EB 3000 battery and you can uh, have these uh, either the cigarette lighter port you know the xtc to the cigarette lighter uh -huh. and then the cigarette if, if i could have that cigarette lighter yep. and then you could have the xt60 to the cigarette lighter and then the cigarette lighter to the barrel and then you can turn on the inverter on the ep or the eb3000 which are those huge battery packs guys and then you could bring it up to 100 watts through that way but here this is a bonus now if you use the power delivery port of the USB-C and I'll make a video of this proving this later because uh, I have to test it to verify too you can also have another hundred watts I'm assuming we have to test it uh, going into this because this is that fancy input output of the USB-C 100 watt power delivery port that is awesome which means you can pull up to 200 watts from one of those huge batteries into this bad boy and that'll give you enough power to run a laptop lights fan uh, fridges and things like that you, you know what I mean so you can use this huge monster battery pack if you have an E1500 LP or you have an E2000, you want to go camping, but you don't want to drag this 40 or 50 pound big E1500 or E2000 around the campsite. You could drag this down to the fishing spot, use that to do whatever, charge your vape, charge it. That's a new one. Charge your vape, your charge phone. I, it just popped in my head because I saw a commercial for vaping. I, I don't vape, but you know, I guess you have to charge them. There's lithium ion batteries in there. So charge your vape, your phone. Uh, use your tablet, use your laptop, you know, whatever you're using, charge your fish finder if, if you have one of those, uh, you know, uh, whatever. I mean, they have like uh, 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 recyclable, not recyclable, rechargeable fish finders now where you can actually uh, like uh, charge it and then you put it on a fishing rod and you throw it in the water and then you reel it real slow and it gives you real time fish finder. On, on a little screen the, uh, unbelievable technology guys I, I have one somewhere and, and hopefully one day I can do a review of it um, but I, I bought it a few years ago it, it's unbelievable technology because you don't have to put it on a boat you can just literally throw it in a pond and go real slow and you can see if there's fish in there before you waste your time that's cool that's cool so 35% I'll leave the uh, I'll leave the what have you here uh, let's do the test here let's see if it links back up it's 36 See, 14 to 36. Obviously, that's the internal memory of when it was last on the internet. I'll put it here. Actually, I'll put it here just for a second, guys. Uh, we're going to do the testing of the system here. We're going to test. So you, you have 80, 80, uh, was it 80, about 82 almost on the system itself on the Fahrenheit. top. Fahrenheit. Uh, Fahrenheit, too. I don't know what that is Celsius, but there is a fancy button here that goes to Celsius. Look at 29. So here, I got a built-in calculator now, and now I can learn Damn. to be smart. Okay, so the top of the system is usually the hottest for the casing, and that is 29, 
and then you hit this and it goes to 86. I really dislike Celsius. I've never learned that and it's so frustrating. Like millimeters and, and, and uh, was it uh, meters and all that stuff. Holy crap, Zilla guys. I, I, I came from the English background and it's just easier because that's what I learned. So I'm too old to be learning new stuff now. Uh, so I got to use these fancy buttons to figure out what the heck I'm at here. So uh, we're going to look at the input charging here on the cord. And that is at a, where's the laser? Right there. We're at 75, guys. So this cord is ice cold. Ice cold. Holy crap, Zilla. There's no heat in that cord. 76 on the other side. So obviously that's a wonderful cool where you don't have to worry about this overheating or anything. And remember, we're pulling in 200, 200, 205. It probably goes up and down. This is the first full official cycle that we did. So yeah. obviously, the, the you know, that has to do a lot of balancing in there, guys. Once you have a power station or a battery fully charged and then you discharge it, it's much easier to charge it the next time because the voltages of the battery cells could be possibly different, right? So it has to find the little seats like a, like a baseball stadium where everyone runs in and gets a seat. And then as it gets full, it's harder to find a seat. So that's what it's doing right now and probably why it's bouncing so up and down. We'll do another cycle, of course later to make sure that we confirm that but i've confirmed that on a lot of power stations a lot of drones a lot of rc cars a lot of battery packs um dewalt battery packs in in, in general too uh that it has to oh see it says 38 percent here oh there went up to 39 um that it has to uh find those last little bits for the information and the energy to go okay and now we're going to check the big one which is the heat now that fan is on holy crap zilla that's full fan okay so what we're going to do is we're going to go here and we're down to 107. I'm gonna keep looking here. Oh, I saw 110 up there. Oh, see, 111, okay. So that's that's pretty hot for a little box, guys. But uh, it, the, the fan is obviously doing its job. On the bottom of the fan, it's 88. So it's obviously on the top of the system inside there. Yep. At one, uh, one, almost 114. So we'll keep an eye on that. Um, let's see here, I think that's as high as I saw. What's the highest you saw, Miss Ramley? About 113? 114. You saw 114? Yeah, okay. For a yeah. split second. Oh, I saw 113.8 it was. It's really hard to like catch it. You know, it's like fishing. So 112, 111. So at least uh it's not it's not in the danger zone of like, you know, uh like 120 or something or higher. But I like to see this. Um, well, like I said, it's a very small box and a ton of stuff is smushed in there. I would like to have seen that down in the safe. Uh, good zone of 100, 105, but uh, the, the the fan is working. So yep, see 110. So uh, it, as long as it's keeping it cool, it's okay. I do like to see it a little bit less, obviously. And how you can make it less, obviously, is by turning down. Remember those options. Uh, and remember, we have it on we have it 100 percent though too. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. That's something to remember, guys. We have it on 100 percent uh, charging, which is the turbo charging version of Bluetti. So let's see. Uh, was it this one here? No, oh, it was the other one, I think. This one. <clears throat> yeah, yep. See, 100%. So if we turn it down to 50%, guys, which is much better for these batteries, let's see what that goes down to. Because remember, that's the turbo. Oh, I got to confirm it here. That's the turbo mode. And now we're at 50%. Uh, like, like uh, uh, that would be the normal of uh, Bluetti, I believe. So let's see here. Okay, notice it went back to 14. There, and, and it updated itself. So good. Now, we have an on-the-fly updating system. That's good to see. Now we're gonna watch this in real time. So it's 110. Now notice that the input went down to 150. I think that's much better for a normal charging of this station because that would take about two to three hours charging. Unless you really need it, that would be the turbo charger. So if it got up to 114 using the turbo charging, which is 100% charging, I think that's more than fair to you. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's more than fair. And maybe it'll drop down to that good 100 watt or 100 degree range when you use 50% charging, which is still a good amount of power you're putting in there. All right, let's see here. Let's see if it went down a little bit here. Yep, see, it's starting to fall slowly here. So 109. Obviously, it has to uh, dissipate the heat that's inside the box and all the uh, electronics in there that are warm. It has to get rid of that here. Let's put this over here. And then uh, if you want to bring me, dear, a. a, a one of each of the heaters okay. uh a, a 200 water and the 400 that are on the wall right there okay. and then we'll test that here as soon as we now it went down to 140 yeah like i said i think that would be much more balanced after you cycle it a few times you know it's like a car once you get the engine kind of broken in uh batteries have to be broken in a lot of people don't know that um that you have to use them a few times so they balance better um and then we're going to just set these here we'll use them later here guys but uh, this is a 200 watt heater now, I don't know what the actual 
Uh, I'm going to run through the specs in the system again. So we have the official specs here while we watch this in real time here. Um, I always like watching these in real time, guys, because if there is a problem, you're going to see it with no cuts. I want I want uh, the companies to know that you know they're they're. Uh, well, what's a nice way to say it? They're 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 on the, on the. Uh, uh, I, on the shooting block, if you know what I mean. Like, in real time, if this fails, guys, you're going to see this, and I'm not going to cover that up. If, if if this dies and fails and burns or whatever, then you're going to see it in real time. I think that's much more uh, uh, much more real review. Okay, so the, the fan has obviously stepped down a little bit. Let's see what the temperature is at here. So 107. So the temperature is starting to fall. Um, can we put this on the floor here? Yeah. Okay, I'll set them right there. I forgot right. I got really long arms. I got those those really long rambling bob arms here. Look at these things. They're like, what's that? Not not a, a Tyrannosaurus. <laughs> what's what, what's what's the one with the long arms? I don't know. You know the little stubby arms. I'm not that guy. What what, what is that? I don't know what that is. You know the, the the Jurassic Park dinosaur. What is that called? I don't, know. I don't even have long arms. I just know the short arms. Okay. Well, there's that one with the really long neck, and he's got the long. Uh, anyway, okay, that's it. A... I think you're thinking of neck, not arm. <clears throat> okay. Well, that's a dinosaur joke because I'm old. Oh. Okay, <laughs> so uh, all right, so uh, the fans going down here. We're always having some fun here guys Here 106. Okay, so it's dropping down to the nice temperature of 100 to 105 that I like to see on a charging of a system Like I said, you can charge it faster or you could charge it slower if you charge it slower. It's better. It's much better I wonder if that charging affects the solar as well. Oh, yeah, so I'd like sure. to try that I'm assuming it will but you know, but I wait did it say in the, did it say AC charging or charging? Oh, it only says AC charging power. Okay, so that would not affect, obviously, the DC charging, which is solar. Yeah. So uh, your solar would come in 100%, and then your AC would be whatever you set it at. So if you just want to use this 100% solar, you can set it to zero, and then it won't use anything. And then it'll just use the power off the wall for the um, uh, UPS. So you could do it that way. Okay, so let's back up here. So 45. Now notice it says 46. That says, okay, there, and updated. Awesome. It's a little delay, but like I said, I like that. I don't think we're on the internet, right? I, no. I signed. Okay, so that's good. No. Uh, the fan is starting to go down even more here. Now, look at that, guys. The, that's the money number. I like to see it charging at about 100. About 100. The top of the fan is still... Oh, the, the top of the fan is still 112, guys. Uh oh. So we got to keep watching here. And the bottom of the fan is at 83. So if we do the middle of the fan, that's at the 104 and dropping. So obviously it's still getting rid of a lot of the heat in there. But you can tell it's cooling down because the fan is cooling down. Yeah, it's yeah. cooling down. Yeah, it's, it's stepping down. So, yep. Let's see here. Let's get it on an angle here. Yep, see 93. So inside straight is 108 on the top. And then towards the bottom is about 90. So, yeah, it's it's uh, it's stepping down, but we'll watch it. You know, guys. It, yep, it, it is slowing down though. Okay, what do you see? It says zero. Oh, oh. zero charging. Wow. Yeah. See, okay, so yeah. See, what I think that is is the. Yep. See, the battery pack was either confused. Yep. See, okay, so guys, because I did the other part of the video, I know exactly what it's doing, guys. This is going to shoot up. Uh, one percent every do you do you guys okay this is very good that this happened guys very good there's nothing wrong with the battery pack it was actually higher than see how slow it is it's actually higher than it is and the system is self-adjusting now watch it go up another percent probably okay it'll be 48 in a second yeah, I just noticed it was like 25 yep zero, yep so like what that. happened guys is when i held this down okay and i uh d couldn't type in the the password for the wi-fi if you remember yeah right uh, and then uh, it, the entire system reset and put the battery back down to that 1%, which is why you saw it drop down to 1%. Now, you're going to see this go up because the power meter is confused because I did the reset and didn't do anything with it. So, uh, what if on the uh, 2000 LFP, if you remember, once it was fully charged, it would update. So, this is going to go up every one minute or so to another percent and you're going to see these little spikes so that's the system checking and it goes oh char oh you're full sorry and it'll go up one percent so we'll watch it let's see here's another spike here okay I it was either that or because we went to 50 but i guess no this is this is yeah, very very good that this happened guys so if you ever see a system do this 
there's nothing wrong with the system. It's recalibrating the batteries. So that's mm-hmm. very good. And that's what happened on the E2000 LFP. Now, remember, the E1500 LFP didn't do that. So let's see if it does it in real time here. I believe the system is 100% and it's still going. Oh, I didn't know that. So see, it's still trying to put there 48. So it's doing exactly what I thought. And that's about what? One minute intervals? Mm-hmm. This is absolutely perfect. This is update. Yep, there it goes. It. You got to point at it. That's how it works. I did. <laughs> but I got to point at it. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, because it's registered to you. Yeah, it's registered to Ramley Bob. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's, that, that's, that's probably like a law or something. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, at least it's a policy. Okay. So, guys, th- this is doing it exactly what I thought. And this is, there's no better time to learn this than right now in real time, guys. So, uh, like I said, if you do reset it, and you don't link it right away, it'll reset the battery also. The E600 LFP also has a battery reconfiguration where you hold it and then you hit the button twice or once and then it goes to recalibrate the actual batteries. But now it's calibrating on the fly. This is, like I said, this is actually very good that it's doing this. We're gonna let it go for a few a few seconds or a few minutes so you can watch the spikes where the system is trying to put energy in the batteries, but the BMS is saying, hold off guys, we're full. And then it goes, oh, my fault, and it goes up 1%. So those of you who remember the E2000 LFP videos know exactly what I'm talking about. And uh, if, if someone were to pick one of these up and it's doing this right away, the average person and the probably the trained person sometimes too would think something's wrong with my thing here yeah. because yeah so this is very very good that it happened live on video here guys but uh let's let's see I, I you know what what we'll do is when it goes to 49 we'll see how many power spikes it does until it goes up i think it was three or four but let's see when it gets to 49 and then we'll count these uh power spikes and we'll see what it does from there and i'll check the uh the temperature is obviously dropping because see now it's down 83 on the bottom of the fan and on the top of the casing, still 111. So it's definitely dropping on the bottom and then 96 in the middle. So it's slowly going down. Uh, let's see here. So that was another spike. We're, we're going to count it. Okay, so 49. So, uh, boy, do, I missed it. Do we count that as the first one? Yeah. Let's count that as the first one. Okay, yeah. so because it, it just went to 49. So let's yeah. let's not count that one because oh. that was the ad- adjustment one. Okay. All right, so we're going to count this in real time, guys, how many it does. I calculated approximately one to three minutes per percentage uh, on the E2000 LFP. Boy, this is th- there's no better perfect timing for this to happen than right now. And like I said, when we first got this, okay, so there's one. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll, I'll, I'll keep track of my, of my hand here so in real time. Um, uh, I, I learned how to do this on the E2000 LFP because the expansion batteries was a pain in the buttocks to understand how to do it. And then once you understand that it's full, then you get used to it. But like Your I said, buttocks is less painful. Yeah, that's a that's a, a what is that movie? Forrest Gump. Oh. Yeah, shot in the buttocks. Yeah. yeah <laughs> okay. <jumped> up in <laughs> My name is Forrest Gump. Guys, we're a movie, movie big movie fans here. Okay, uh, and that was an awesome movie, guys. Long movie, but awesome. Okay, so that's one power spike. And uh, remember when we first started this video, it was at 65%, and then I hit that reset, and it went back to one. So that confused. Okay, there's another power spike, so that's two. And then uh, that's why it went down to 1%. So you're going to see this go up every one minute. Now, I don't want to do the video that long, but obviously no. you'll see it. And then I'll stop it right at the last three. Uh, or, you know, we could do it in real time, but boy, that would be a long video. We're at 40 minutes already, guys. I don't want to burn too much time here, because we really didn't do much today other than the, the uh, options on here and uh, little bits and pieces with the charging. But uh, like I said, I'd rather have these videos in real time because that is the best way to show the real, not a commercial, guys. This is exactly what would happen. Oh, there you go, 50. So how many times did it spike? Twice? I think. And the third spike would probably be that. Okay, so now that we have 50, let's do it again here. And now that updated. Okay, so let's watch this power spike, okay? Okay, there's the first one, right? Mm -hmm. Now notice it's it's understanding it's it's going oh look at that it's full sorry so it, it's the the BMS is doing its job and that's a very very good safety test guys because it, rather than a system just trying to shove power into a system it's going oh, oh hey, hey hold off on that you're gonna pop these batteries right that's very good safety right mm-hmm. oh and Mrs. Ramley Bob here look at how smart she is she is smart she's hiding behind me here look at how smart she is she's literally doing the timer here if you don't click my phone it'll the screen will turn off okay. I'll, I'll click like that every once in a while. Just yeah, tap. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. 
So if, if my if my fingers work here. So we're at 50 seconds here, guys. And now you can actually see it. Boy, she's smart. Boy, I'll tell you what, boy. I picked a good one, guys. Okay, so one power spike so far. And then so it seems to be every, what, 30 seconds or so it power spikes and then it goes up. I, I guesstimated it from one. There it goes. Yep. So we're, we're right on, on power. That's two power spikes, one every 30 seconds or so. And then we're going to see. I, I did it as soon as I went to 50. So. She is smart. Guys, I picked a good one. Holy crap, Zilla. Guys, thumbs up for the wife here. Okay, the wifey. All the kids call it the wifeys. I don't know what that wifey is. I don't know if they do. The, the, they don't call it anymore? I don't know. Okay, oh, I'm old. Oh, sorry. Okay, so yeah. here's 30 seconds now, guys. Let's see if there's another power spike, and maybe it'll go up. And we're going to see this in real time here, guys. Real time. We're learning. We are learning. Education is the key here, guys. Okay, we got two power spikes so far that it tried to shove power in there, and the BMS held it back, and then that went up 1%. So that's good. So it's recalibrating the power meter. And then once you do this and you don't hit the reset button like we did, then you don't have to worry about it. Oh, see, it's more than 30 seconds now, guys. See, I, 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 don't, I don't think they're in intervals. I think it's just random. Do you think it's random? Because that would be almost a minute now, guys, right? Yeah. Unless I missed one. Oh, 51. Oh, they're 51. Okay, so two power spikes, and it went up. So it, it seems to like be... Two yeah, it seems okay. to be every two minutes. So I was right. There's a power spike. I was right. Uh, let's do reset and start here. Oh, I think um, it's on a lap. What, oh, I forgot what lap is. I think that starts it over. You think? Yep, yep. Yeah. Okay, so uh, a lap is so you can have your list of how you many... see what they change. Yep, to. yep, yeah. yep. I, I Believe me, if I can run one time around a, a course, guys... Uh, that's good enough for me. I, I, I don't I, I don't think I've ever done a lap of anything <laughs> Once I get to where I'm going I stop that's it. I'm done, you know too much exercise. Okay, so uh, yeah, Seriously, what right? You lapping to get a soda? How many laps? Have oh, you but I think guys while we're waiting for this if I were to measure my laps of getting soda pops from the fridge yep. um now he does laps. Yeah, I'm not even gonna go into that one, guys. I, this, it's probably in the millions. It, it, by, <laughs> by this time, it's probably in the millions. Really? I probably set a world record. Uh, Dr. Pepper should sponsor me seriously because I like Dr. Pepper and I do do laps getting Dr. Pepper seriously. All right, uh, I, if I could just train Rambling Bobcat to grab me a pop from the fridge, I'd be very happy. See, it went a whole minute now. You gotta open. You gotta train her to open the fridge first. Yeah. But actually, maybe don't. She could probably. Yeah, I better not, cause she'll eat everything in there. Yeah. Holy crap, Zilla. Okay, let's see here. One oh eight. So it seems to be about what every two minutes, according to the last. There's a power spike. So yeah, so it seems to be random, guys, where it just tries to put you know energy in there. All right, fifty one percent, fifty one percent. 1 minute 20, so I'm expecting this number to go up every 2 minutes. And like yeah. I said, once it gets to 100, then you don't have to do this anymore. The only reason it did this, guys, I have to reiterate this, was it was my mistake that I hit the reset button and then didn't do anything with it. And that factory resets the entire system. So if you ever have you to... Go. Oh, there you go. So that was a minute 40 this time. Oh, oh, stop. Reset. Start. Okay. It done lap. Yeah. So I was probably maybe a one fifty. So we're gonna do one more here. Do you remember how we made that joke that it only changes when you point at it? That's true. So Bam. it was. I am. You literally were pointing at it, and as soon as you went like this, it went to fifty two. Yeah, my timing. My timing is horribly good, isn't it? It's so like really good and really bad. Point it again. See if it works. Bam. Oh. Bam. Oh. No. Bam. No. Eh. Expelliosis. Isn't that a word? No. No? We're not going over this again. Okay. <laughs> Isn't that a word from like a Harry Potter no. thing? Speliosis. No. Chargernolia. No. Holy crap. Zillionisis. No. No? Okay. No. All right. We got to wait here, guys. Mm. We're, we're waiting. And then we're going to do the test with the heaters, guys. Oh. Hopefully you guys are having fun. We, we love, we love, love, love to make these videos. I can't explain that enough. Uh, so you're this... saying it's going to heat up soon? It might. Woo! Woo! Okay, <laughs> so we really, really like making these videos, guys. Hopefully, you're having as much fun learning. I know we're we're long-winded and we ramble a lot, guys, but we want to oh. make this fun. What do you mean, uh, we? Okay, I am. Thank you. We, 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 oh, 52, it went up. And that was in a minute, right? All right, stop. I don't know what I'm doing anymore, guys. Is it already at 52? I don't know. I give up. Okay. <laughs> so we'll wait till 53. We'll do one more. Uh, see, oh, I even lose track of what I'm doing, guys. I'm rambling so much, guys. But uh, this technology has really changed my life. It's not a joke. It really has. I don't use generators or motors anymore. It, they're, they're, let's how quiet that is. Holy crap, Zilla. Like, everything about it is just win-win for me. So you're down to... 96, which that's where I expect the charging to be, right around 100 degrees is, is usually what I see on most power stations. And on the top, top, top of the system, it's 110. And on the bottom, it is down to 83. And that means in the middle, whoop, we're falling over here. And then in the middle, it is obviously 
right in the middle, about 90, 95. So let's see here. Yep, 94. So the, the fan is doing its job. The power meter is obviously resetting itself. That, I'm so happy that happened on, on live. Mm. That is that is un Guys, you 53, have... 53, go. 53, okay, go. Bam, okay. I was waiting for that. Yeah. Boy, I almost gave myself a... a, 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 a <laughs> Jeez Louise, a freak out attack. I'm like, go! What are we doing? <laughs> she scared the jeebies out of me, guys. It's like, go, go, go where? Emergency, <laughs> what are we doing? Okay. I knew that if you, you would have started rambling and not noticed that it went up, so I was waiting for Man, yeah. you. Man, know, you know I don't ramble. I'm not one to be rambling. Huh? Guys, I ramble. That's what I do. I, I, I just know you get lost in the ramble and forget to check the power, and then all of a sudden you'd be like, hey, it went up one, yeah. and you'd be like, yeah. When, when you play a DJ for many, many years, guys, you, okay. you learn to ramble. You just, It's natural. What? Right? You just learn to ramble. You don't want dead air, right? Oh. You just don't want it. So you talk about anything. You talk about fishing or, know, or your sneakers or your, your toe or whatever. I, you I stopped my toe yesterday, you know, just, just well, to fill that air. I think <laughs> you were born to ramble. I don't think you learned to fill the DJing. I think it's just... That, you know, I, I could have been born... born Wait a minute, guys. The movie. Movie buff. Why we're waiting for this? I'm oh. a huge movie buff. Do you guys remember the movie with, I think it was uh, George Clooney and uh, Old Brother Where Out Thou? Guys, if you haven't seen it, go watch that. Seriously, no jokes. And he's like, I've been born with the gift of gab. That was Rosie O'Donnell's, uh, uh, Tom, was it Tom Arnold or the other guy? No, it was the other guy. <laughs> Remember he was in arachnophobia? Sure. Guys, we were rambling about just random stuff as we were watching this here. Uh, what's, what's the guy's name? Not Tom Arnold, but the other one, the, 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 the heavy set one. I don't know, man. Remember he's in arachnophobia? You like him. <sighs> oh, boy. Okay. All right, so obviously. Well, uh, since I don't know, maybe they know. The, you... Guys, who was, who was Rosie O'Donnell's other husband? You know, the, the first one? I don't oh. know. John. Yeah, John Goodman. There you go. Bada bing, bada boom. We Why got it. Why didn't you say Flint High five. You went arachnophobia instead of Flintstones? Oh, I forgot he was in Flintstones, in too. Flintstones. Guys, we are movie buffs, but uh, the names of the uh, uh, people sometimes slip your mind. Oh, my so, God. If, but stop, I got, stop. Stop. Okay, so 152. <laughs> so, guys, it, it's under under two minutes or about two minutes. This will go up 1%. So, um, there we go. So, we don't need this anymore. So, we, we figured it out. We narrowed it down. I, I was guessing uh, one to three minutes. And, you know, I'm right in the middle. So, that's perfect. Uh, 54, 54. And, like I said, it will take a while to get back to 100%, guys. Because, like I said, it is confused. The power meter is confused only because yeah. I held these buttons down and I made this darn thing go back to factory resetting. So, uh, if you get the system... Uh, if you're going to do this, link it up with the app right away, guys, and don't let it reset. Otherwise, uh, it will beep, turn off, and factory reset, guys. And then, obviously, you have to reset the power meter. But that's a very good thing. It's a very, very good thing that this happened because, like I said, people can see uh, if, if they have the same problem, guys. Like I said, we're not professionals. We're just average people that literally bought this stuff. Or this one is gifted. It's a full sponsor review. Now, this is 100% free dust <coughs> from Petground. And uh, we, just because we really, really enjoy doing these reviews, they gave us this free to show you guys how good or bad the system is. And believe me, I am very brutal if I don't like something. If you guys remember when I first started uh, with the E2000 LP, and I remember I bought that system. I paid my money. And I crapzilla on the... Uh, the, the 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 power brick so much that lunch remember I used to call it a lunchbox yeah uh, I I I, I crapzilla that that's our new word for the day crapzilla uh, I crapzilla on the cables that go uh, out the sides there because it was big and bulky and uh, th there was a lot of things that you know so I'm I'm definitely not a fan favorite of anybody guys I want a power station that works and does what I needed to do period. No other uh, explanations or reasons. I want this to work when I need it, and that's it, period. And uh, hopefully that's that. Uh, you're looking at the same way. Yeah. So what we're going to do now, now that we know exactly what it does, we can either do two things. We can do the test while it's resetting, which it does. It, 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 it'll it just spike up and reset even while you're using it, guys. Um, or we can wait, and you want me to stop the video? We're going to take a vote on this, okay? okay. Uh, get to 100% and then start doing the test for the AC and, and the USB and all that good stuff. I, I think it would be more beneficial to get this to 100%. Yeah, um, and then do it. Wait, do you know how to do a time lapse? Guys, guys, hold on. Holy crapzilla. Um, uh, this GoPro has like a time lapse -y thing. I just found out. 
Um, even though I'm a technology guy, remember I'm an amateur. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this live video. I'm going to click the live. Uh, what is it called? Uh, time lapse. Time lapse. The guy has said it like ten times. Um, <laughs> I'm going to click the time lapse, and then we're going to put that video inside here, and we're going to be all fancy like Hobotech and Jason Orton and all those other, you know, those big channels. Yeah. We're going to do the technology, because, uh, and then you can watch this in real time, and then we're going to put a clock here in real time, which if I, do I have a clock? Yeah. I don't know. If, where's the clock? I'll figure it out. Maybe here? I don't know if they can see that, though. It's it's well, 258 okay. here. Okay. And th this doesn't stay on. I wish that would stay on, guys. I really do. Okay, so, and these are sideways, I noticed. So if you were to put one of these on here, guys, check this out. I know I'm all over the board. Look at that. It would cover the screen. Guys, I don't like that at all. Look at that. Cover the screen. What are we covering? The well, if you use the bottom one, maybe. We're not there yet. No, yes. Yeah, I don't like that. Oh, my gosh. Background, what are you doing? What are you turning them sideways for? See, I'm brutal, guys. I'm very brutal when I don't like something. I do not like that these are faced sideways. If anything, they should be faced that way, right? Yeah. Background, you know I got these, right? You know I use them. What are you doing? <laughs> Background, I'm no, yelling at you now. Look at this. I can't see the screen anymore. Well, I got this one. Peck Ron, turn these the right way, please. All right. Hopefully, anyway. they'll, hopefully they'll listen. I'm going to yell at Peck Ron for a minute. <laughs> like I said, this is a real review, guys. If I don't like something, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to spout about it. And that is what you want to hear. If you don't like something, yell about it. Okay, so I'm going to try this, guys, in real time. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm going to try it in real time. I'm going to take out the... Let me see if I can take out the camera right now. Let me unplug this here, and uh, hopefully the camera should stay on. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm learning in real time here. I'm going to find something to put it on. Uh, some kind of a boxy thing here. Okay. Let me get that. Let me get that. I'll use this, and I'll set it here. And now uh, what I'm going to do... Let's see if that's... Is that perfect? I think that's darn perfect. Right there. Oh, Grabzilla. There it is, guys. Okay, so I'm going to do this here, and then I'm going to... Uh, leave this on here. Hopefully this will stay on and then I'm gonna pause this and I'm gonna do the time lapse And hopefully I can put that into a video. Okay, because I've never done this before so if I screw it up guys I apologize. Okay, so I'm gonna stop the video now. I'll be back with the time lapse in just a second. Okay Okay, guys, I am back. So I tried this uh, Stop motion thingy. I don't know. It's the first time I ever tried it guys um, So hopefully it worked uh, if it didn't I apologize, but I hope it did uh, it'll be before this video and um, now the system is at a hundred percent and it's balanced so it understands fully what's going on in the battery pack so it worked it, it's exactly like the E2000 LFP if you make the mistake of resetting these and then not setting up the app while that's going on um, so th that was that was my mistake and it's always best to uh, figure out and watch the mistakes so you don't make the same mistake. So if you're going to reset this, make sure you have your app ready to do that. Otherwise, this will reset all the way to zero and reset everything, and then you have to wait. It is about, I think it's about 4.30ish. You can look back on the uh, clock. Hopefully the phone stayed on. Uh, I think it was like about 4.30 when I finished, and I think it was about 3.07 when I stopped the video, I think. Uh, so maybe about an hour and a half. That was my guess, an hour to an hour and a half to finish and uh, it, it didn't fly in colors and now it's 100 percent fine so if you unplug this from the wall i wanted to show you uh one other thing real quick now it's 100 percent off and then obviously it sits down it means none of the inverters was on so if you plug this in this is something that i noticed right away while it was full so obviously it's 100 percent full system and it's running on uh the ups as this will it should click on ups in a second here um the fans on um oh i i think you have to oh wait okay so there's the the wi-fi <coughs> maybe the uh ups comes on in a second here um that's normal it'll spike it'll see it's at 100 and then it'll calm down of course because it's already full see it now it's dropping um so now the system's totally on so as soon as you hit the ac then the uh the ups mode oh, you gotta hit this yeah hold it oh yeah you gotta hold it down so you hold it down and then there's your output, and then the UPS automatically kicked down. But what I wanted to show you uh, right away was the amount of power that it's using from the wall is 20, about 22 watts. So if you were to turn this off, notice that the UPS icon stays on. Oh, it, it did before. Okay, it turned off, and now you're only using 20.4. So, <coughs> excuse me. Um, hopefully it'll be warm weather soon. Okay, so... Um, the the amount of power that we're being used here while nothing is running other than the system the screen and the uh, wi-fi is about 20 watts so it is a little hot guys so if, if you if you turn this off i bet you'd save probably a good eight to ten watts 
I, I believe, because that was similar to what it was on the E1500 LFP, depending on obviously what Wi-Fi module that they used in there. But uh, it, uh, it it works. It, it, it's set up all like it's supposed to. Now it's 100% brand new, ready to go. I would highly recommend that you, you know, like before you do a capacity test, guys, do about five to 10 cycles on a battery. And that way it breaks the battery in because, you know, as, as you break a battery in like a car, it works better. Uh, a lot of people don't do that. They just pull us out of the box and do a battery test right away. And you get a lower percentage because obviously the batteries are fresh. They're not broken into. Um, like Same with your DeWalt batteries. If you if you learned over time that when you first get a DeWalt battery, it, 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 it died in a shorter time. But then as you use the battery, it obviously got longer because the cells are more ready to take in that extra energy and things like that. Okay, so we're going to try this bad boy here. And so now the inverter is on. Actually, we're going to unplug it from the wall here. Let's do that. Let's unplug it from the wall. And we're going to try a few tests here. Okay. <clears throat> and that is going to be this 200-watt heater here. So I don't know the size of the inverter yet. I didn't read that. I'm going to read that very soon with the uh, instruction booklet over here. And we're going to go through everything. But I just want to try this really quick because uh, I've, I've been waiting for a while to try these little heaters. So this one we're going to pop on right away. And... Uh, That'll go up to about about 200 watts, guys. Like I said, I don't like that these these things are sideways. I don't like that, guys. I wish they were the other way because of the simple fact of if I use this, you see how it covers the screen? I want it to be up here. So I, I think that's one uh, downfall for the system. As I said, I'm, I'm very, very vocal when I when I, something I don't care for. This I don't care for. I don't like them sideways like that. Uh, it's not a problem with... Um, uh, these like they're they're tight together. So if you put a power pack in there guys, obviously the power packs not gonna fit So you, you'll take up spot um, Of the other one So if you put an actual power pack in there, you can only have one outlet So if they were the other way, maybe one up and the word one down, you know something like that That way at least you had a chance to do power pack and a power pack or something like that But it, this is such a small box. I, I can kind of understand why they probably put it the way they did. There is a ton of features in this little box. It's crazy. I mean, I didn't even talk about the 15 watt uh, wireless charger up here too. You know, I forgot all about that in the unboxing other than I mentioned it quick that it, it had it, but I didn't mention how much power is, uh, you know, it's standard 15 water. And then I just have it propped up here so you can see it a little bit better, of course, like uh, in the other videos. So here we're putting out about 200 watts. No problem, no fuss, no muss. I will uh, start the app here. And then we can see if if it uh, uh, is the same here. So 100 watts, okay. The app's on, and let's see if it's active here. I think because I shut the system off. I wonder if I have to re redo the thingy. Oh, see my phone froze. Did it? Okay, yeah. I I, I think the app froze here, guys. I don't know. Maybe because I shut it off though. So I don't think that's fair. Um. There we go. Okay, so now they're both offline. Now notice that this one popped online. That's obviously the E300. And I'm off the internet, but I'm on Bluetooth. So let's see if it links back up. There you go, 98%. Guys, we ate 2% of the power, obviously, because we're dragging out a lot of power. That's two-thirds of, uh, well, a little bit more than two-thirds of what's in this box here, just in this little heater here. So here you have a uh, output of 194. That says 194. So that's that seems to be pretty good, pretty accurate, pretty very, very stable. Uh, notice that the uh, if you click the output notice the power factor. Did you see that guys? Holy crap Zilla guys I saw the power factor change from 0.9 to 1. I actually saw it So maybe it's possible that this or the app was updated to where the power factor actually moves. I like that Let me let me turn that off here. Let me see <coughs> All right, let me see here And then we're gonna turn it on and see if that moves again that power factor no, that's a heater. Obviously, I, you have to try something else with a motor or something or to, you know, uh, drop that, like a charging of a power station or a laptop or something like that. But, oh, see, guys, look at, look at, 0 0.9. Very good. Okay, so Pecron, they actually got it working where the power factor is changing. On the other, on the E1500 LFP, I did not see this power factor change at all. It was always the same. So maybe this system is uh, more updated. Or maybe the app was updated and I just went to 1.6 on the app so that's a possibility that the app was updated that it affects that power uh, uh, power factor and a lot of people don't really care about that or need it uh, that's the efficiency of the power that you're using uh, if it takes hundred watts to make 70 obviously that's not very efficient so that would be points uh, point seven 
on the power factor scale. If you could uh, have 100 watts make 100 watts, that's actually one to one because you're not wasting any power making that power. Um, it, it, it's kind of uh, tricky to understand it at first, but once you get it, not a problem. Okay, so we'll put that there. That's working just fine. And then uh, we're gonna turn this bad boy off here. <clears throat> now, like I said, I don't know the size of the inverter, so I wanna do the test before I know the size of the actual inverter, how much power comes out. Oh, I saw it, it says 600, doggone it. All right, <coughs> I cheated, guys, I read right there, I didn't even see that. So I'm gonna put a 400 in there, we're gonna try that. And then I'll put the uh, 400 and the 200 together, and we'll run both, <coughs> excuse me, and then we can see if it runs on both. Boy, this weather is just horrible. Guys, it's 70 degrees one day, it's 20 the next day, it's 60 the next day, it's 10 the next day, it's up and down, drives me near, absolutely crazy. I wanna go out and ride my, my electric bike here, and uh, I it, like every other day I go out, and then you come home and you got the sniffles and everything, because uh, the weather is uh, just wreaking havoc on your throat. Okay, uh, oh, I, I, if I said tea, I bet your Miss Rambling Bob would come in if I mentioned the word tea, and she'd be like, what do you need, a tea? Okay, <clears throat> so we're using 540 watts out, and uh, Someone say tea? oh boy, guys, I, I did it. Uh, yep, uh, I, I have a small cough, remember from the cold? Can yeah, you, yeah. Could you make me some tea? Okay. All right, thank you, dear. Yeah, you're welcome. Guys, she loves her tea. It's, it's, you can't even say the word tea or she'll stop what she's doing and literally say, what'd you say? You know, okay. So we're, what we're gonna do now is here, 400 watts, now it's balancing, of course. I, I'm really surprised that that went up all the way to 500 watts. That's only a 400 watt heater. Holy crap, Zilla guys. Uh, oh no, you know what? It says 500 watts down here. I wrote 400 watts, but it says 500 here because it always seems to use, see, 400 watts. So a lot of times they overrate these. So here we got 400 watts. And then this will be 200. So once that gets down here, and then we're going to try the surge and see if that can handle it. So let's pop this one on. Now we got to plug it in here. Alrighty. So we're using 395 watts. So, so far, so good. <clears throat> and then I will check the heat in the back there. We got to get these wires out of here. You don't want them to, to burn or anything. Put those behind the heater where it's safe. Okay. Not much room on my desk here, guys. And a little table here, a workbench. Okay, <clears throat> so we have these bad boys, and I'm happy that they're facing towards me, so I will not complain anymore with the cold today. And, uh, okay, so here we go. So 540, that's shot up just fine. 560, 580, <clears throat> 582, there you go, there's your 600. So it can definitely hold 600, and on here it shows the same number, but it's a little bit behind here, see? There's a delay, it says 596, and this says 609. See, now it's up to date, 609. So there is a delay, even through Bluetooth, guys. Uh, but notice the power factor, it actually says 0 0.9. I don't know, if, hopefully you can see that, guys. 0 0.9 power factor. So that's cool that that actually worked. That did not work on the E1500 LFP so far. I'm gonna have to go back and try it now because I have the new app now. And I've been using the 1500 LFP without the app now because it saves extra power. I'm gonna use this without the app as well. But the app comes in handy when you have to upgrade the firmware or something like that. So, so here we're pushing 613 watts out, 612. So that's definitely higher than the rated power of this power station. So that's a plus. Let's let it go for a few minutes and see if, uh, if we have any headaches or troubles. <clears throat> Not to mention we're using 620 here. The fan's on. Also, the Wi-Fi's on. The Bluetooth is on. See how there's a Wi-Fi and a Bluetooth? So that's cool. Um, so there's a lot of the screens out. There's a lot of stuff going on in this little in the little box here, and I can't wait to try this one. This one's going to be a good one. But here, 623 watts, and it's still going. And now, notice obviously we're we're yanking a lot of power out of here, guys. It's dropping pretty quick. But uh, see, 85. Now that'll drop to 80. See, 85. So there seems to be like a two-second delay, maybe a three-second even sometimes. But uh, <clears throat> you know, to 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 pull out twice the rated power that's you know what's in this box. There's only 288 watt hours, and there's 623 watts that were taken out of it so you're pulling out at twice the rate of the uh, all the 2.2 uh, times the amount of power that's in the box but it's running it's very hot guys very hot and i love it i love it it's only like 20 degrees today it seems or something it's crazy cold all of a sudden but it was 70 just the other day all right so as you can see that bad boy is well good it's 288 degrees here you look at 300 it's heating up well good guys that feels wonderful. That's that's like sitting in front of a fireplace, 300 plus degrees. And then this little bad boy, I think, is about 220 or 230. 
Yep, 2.30. Um, so all together here, we have a very, very good stream of heat coming out here. I wish I could have these out all day, every day. That would be wonderful. Uh, hopefully we can get some moon panels or something. That, or some. I'm, I'm going to look into the uh, uh, the windmills, too. I'm gonna, I am gonna. I heard they're not so good. I heard a lot of bad stories about it. Unless you get the really big ones, but then you have a lot of safety features. They burn up and things like that. And, you know, go too fast and they breaks and all this. It's, it just seems too dangerous. And you got to have a place to put them and all this, the permits and all this stuff. So I don't know if I'll get into it, but I'd like to test one, though. A uh, smaller one just to see if it would be good for a portable setting. But here you go, guys. 623, it's obviously pushing. Uh, let's see what the power station is here on the output. <clears throat> the output says 112. Now, I would expect that because, like I said, uh, uh, when you get to about 120, then I would get nervous. Uh, 112, that's pushing full, double the power capacity of this battery. Um, so, obviously, that's awesome. That's awesome. And at only 112, and that's probably max. I don't think it'll get much hotter than that. Let's see, though. I could be wrong here. Let's check. Yep, I was wrong. See, 116, guys. So now it's getting up into... Once it passes 120, that's why I don't like it. Yeah, 118. All right, it's still going up. Let's give it another minute here. And obviously, remember... See, 115. So obviously, remember, I'm, I'm trying to do it towards the top of the fan because obviously that's where the heat would be coming out as hottest. You know, because heat goes up, obviously. So, uh, like in the bottom of the uh, the... the port here see it's still 84 degrees so it's obviously in between um oh see we yeah, we broke the 121 mark all right it's still going up let's see here i like to keep everything under 120 but like i said you're not going to be using a system like this uh for you know 623 uh for a long time i i, I recommend in in my uh learning of power stations and whatnot i always recommend uh at least half half the power of the rated inverter so if it's a 600 watt inverter try to stay around that sweet spot above half half of that power so 300 watts the reason for that is the inverter runs better and it doesn't heat up so much obviously it's heating up a lot because look at we're using over what it's rated to do by 23 watts already guys look at that here 117 so obviously the fans are kicking on and cooling it down but uh if this was running at 300 watts that would obviously drop down into the uh you know the 100 or 105 range which i like to see at a power station at most uh the bigger systems i've seen probably maybe 100 or 101 or two or something like that but uh, the fans are very very good and, and obviously there's more space in those where stuff can move around pretty good now here we burned 30 percent of this battery and uh, it's still going guys i don't know how long we've been going you can look at the time on the video and see but I, I think this uh, is a very, very good success uh, to be able to go um, 623 watts for that long. Now, I turned off the entire system. Guys, uh, don't do that. that. That was a mistake on my part. If, if you're going to, I, I should have turned these off. That was my mistake. I meant to turn off the inverter and leave it on. But obviously, uh, when that's the only inverter on, let me turn on. Okay, so now they're both on. Um, and then this resets, obviously. So that has to reset. It's got to re re-jump here um <clears throat> i i wanted to just turn off the inverter see bluetooth connected so i wanted to just turn off the and there's a bluetooth uh the inverter and then have the system stay on and the reason you don't want to do that guys is now nothing is running here these are hot but they're not running uh is because you always want to make sure this is cool when you turn off the system if you leave all that heat in there it it stays stagnant right and and it just it causes it to heat up even more and it's just not a good idea um, it's kind of like parking the car and turning it off right away on a hot day. The fan is designed to cool the engine down. So, you know, you want to kind of let the car idle for a minute on a really hot day and then turn it off just so it could cool it down to a temperature, you know, to where it's, 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 it's good for the car. You know what I mean? Um, imagine running a marathon and then laying down and going to sleep. Your body would hate that. It would hate that because you're so hot and overheated that you'd want to cool down first and then lay down, right? Um... Unless you passed out, I guess. But, you know, that's a car stalling on you. Okay, so let's see. We're 69%. And obviously the heat is starting to drop down here. See, 104, 105. That means the the uh, the fans are doing its job. And that's what I mean about cooling the system down. Uh, I, I, I don't like to turn it off until it's probably down to like 90 or so. But, you know, it all depends. You know, you could turn it off a little hotter than that. But I, I like to make sure the system is, is good and ready to store before I store it, if you know what I mean. Or let it sit, just so you can get that hot air out of there. 
and uh, it only helps the system in all the contacts and everything. Okay, so I'm going to try. I don't know if these are going to go back on. These are ceramic heaters now. So what I might have to do is try a fan. Uh, Miss Ramley, Bob, do you have a, a USB fan anywhere that you can bring here? I don't have one in here for some reason. And uh, I'm going to try to cool these down because remember, these have ceramic blocks in there. So if you do not cool them down, you can't restart them. That's a safety feature that's built in these little things, even though they have just on and off buttons. Uh, if they're too hot, they don't let you turn them back on for safety. So that's the only safety that has it. And that's a good safety to have. It should have a tip over as well. Uh, because this will obviously burn the floor. It's 300 watts or 300 degrees coming out of there. It's a lot of power uh, for heat. That could possibly definitely start a fire. Um, she's looking for a fan. Uh, you know what? G grab the DeWalt thing and put a battery there. That'll work. <clears throat> let me let me grab one of these guys. And that way you can cool them down just in case. Because I want to do the surge test on this bad boy now. Thank you, Miss Ramley, Bob. Your tea's almost ready. Thank you, dear. You're welcome. All right. Tea for me. All right, my DeWalt is dusty, so one of these big bad boys here. All right, so what I'll do is I'll, I'll put that directly on the heaters a little bit, just so they can cool the heaters down so I can do the surge test. It does not take long, guys. Believe me, it takes like 30 seconds of fan, and it cools those little blocks in there down, and then you can, you know, turn them on right away. A lot of heaters have fans built in. These do, but they're so small that uh, I wish they put better and stronger fans in there. Okay, so I, I think that's pretty good now. Obviously, you'll see with the, with the surge, it doesn't take much to cool them down. Um, okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to turn these bad boys on. <clears throat> okay. But we're going to turn off the inverter, okay? So now the DC inverter is still on. That's why it stayed on. So I'm going to turn this on, and I'm going to turn this on, and we're going to try the surge test and see if we can get a warning and see if it pops somehow. All right, ready, guys? I'm going to turn this on. It'll turn the inverter on. You hear a click, and then these will turn on. Well, we got everything falling here. Okay, so we're going to turn this on, and we're going to see what happens. There you go. <clears throat> these turned on. See, it clicked, and then these turned on. Now, here's your surge here. Watch this. 590. Oh, there you go. So, uh, you have overpower, and did you notice the, what the power was? 690 watts trip that, guys. So, now we know that that's usually the breaking point of this machine. And then to reset it, you just hold this down, right? That turns it off, and then you can turn it back on. So, we're going to try it one more time. <clears throat> pop it again you want to know your breaking point guys and that way you know not to go anywhere near that okay see it popped right away yep see it popped right away and uh, that was at a lower and I have a feeling that uh, uh, it didn't show you I'll look on this one next time let's see because sometimes it doesn't show you because it doesn't get a chance to get up that high before it pops uh, we'll let it cool down just for a second we we'll use some more fans here Fans are your friends, you guys. Fans are your friends. Oh, thank you, dear. Now I have tea, guys. W what kind of tea is this? Loving tea. Loving tea, guys. Yeah. Oh, boy. It's going to be a short video. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So now this is cooled down. A short video on Ramblin' Bob Reviews? Okay. No, that's not going to happen. Okay. So here we go. We got we got the, these cooled down again. All right. The uh, Ramblin' Bobcat is screaming back there. And now we're going to turn this on again and see. And now I'm going to watch this and this. I'm going to try to watch both here. This output and that output. Okay, the fans are on. Hit that 300. Okay, so 660 now, guys. So now you see that it popped at 660 was the last recorded. So obviously it does not have a very long surge, guys. And that's all we need to test with that because now you know that if you have something like a drill or a saw or something like that, I don't recommend big, you know, uh, heavy, heavy duty power hungry stuff on a little power station like this. Uh, anyway, uh, in emergency, obviously you have to. But I always recommend, uh, as I said before, try to stay within the 50% of the rated output of the machine. Um, usually what I try to do is if the inverter is bigger than the battery, I try to stay within 50% of the battery pack. So if this had a 600 watt inverter, which it does, but the battery pack is only 288, I try to go up to that at the most 288 so instead of the 300 i would try to keep it around just a hair under 300 and that's just how i do it. i mean everyone's got their own style uh imagine having a cadillac car on the freeway uh a cadillac does not care anything about 50 or 60 miles an hour so obviously the motor runs extremely well because it's literally idling that big v8 just does not care about 50 or 60 miles an hour but if if you were to run at 120 obviously it could do it it could do it all day but obviously that's harder on the engine long term. So 
Uh, that worked out good. So now what we're going to try to do, let's take this and you know, let's move this over here. Um, now we're going to put some energy in there, guys. All right. Recharge it here. Because, you know, there's not much energy in these things, guys. So you really have to kind of stay on top of it if you want to do these tests. you got to recharge it and all this stuff every every 10 minutes, it seems. Okay, there we go. It was upside down. All right, so let that charge. That'll go in real time. And then I'll put this here. And now I'd like to try this 100-watt output. So let me grab a 100-watt cable, uh, this guy here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take... Uh, okay. Let's try, let's try this one guys, let's try this one. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this energizer and I'm gonna burn some energy out. Oh, can I have that, <laughs> that one again? Oh, yeah. Sorry about that dear, both of them. There you go. All right, so we're gonna burn some energy out of here guys because this is on 99 and it's not obviously big enough or low enough to put 100 watts in there guys. It, it wouldn't go very low. I think you just wanna have more heat. Yeah, I'll, I'll take it, I'll take it. I have no idea what the, what the, uh, what the deal is with the weather guys. It's uh, you know, global heating, global cooling. I don't know what's going on, guys, but uh, I, I don't like it <laughs> one way or the other. I wish it would stay the same. Uh, I guess you have to move, move to the moon for a constant uh, temperature. Let me burn this out a little bit, and then what we'll do is we'll put the USB into the power delivery port and uh, try that. Oh, you know what? I'm going to try this 100-watt output. Oh, this is only 60 watts. Okay, boo. Do we have a 100-watt output over there? What about a Blue Eddy one? Actually, give me the AC2A because that's almost the same size. I think that's a direct competitor for this model. So let's burn these out here, guys. i got to turn these on. Oh, it's, it's not on. What, what did I do wrong here? Do I got to hold it down? All right. Is it on? There it goes. No? What the heck? You have to turn the heaters on? No, they're on. Oh. Is power station acting weird, guys? See, I'm not a fan of this Energizer anymore. I don't know why. Okay, let's see. Let's turn this one on. Like, it it, it, it did good the first time. See, look, it's, it's not even turning on. Wow! Energizer, what's the deal? You're supposed to be good. I'm use this one, All right, so that's on. Okay. Oh, guys, I'm sorry. So I, I'm so used to holding down this button on all the other parts. I, I, Energizer, I apologize. Okay, obviously overheated. All right, so uh, let's take out uh, let's, 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 let's take out this one. Okay, let's take out this one. Okay, let it reset, guys. I'm so used to holding down the buttons on Pecoron and Blue Eddy that uh, this one you just tap it. See how it auto reset there? So you just click it like that. F60 is their AC inverter name code or whatever, and then see how it popped right in there. It's 400 watts. Oh, oh! you know what, guys? I do apologize. It's only a 300-watt inverter on this one. Boy, I forgot. That's how long it's been since I've used this. Let's reset that. Holy crap, Zilla, we're learning a lot today here, or remembering a lot today. So this is only a three... Nope, look at that. What the heck? Guys, how big is the inverter on here? 300 watts. Yeah, what the heck, guys? All right, so this isn't cooperating so good. All right. I wonder what the deal is. What's the dealio? It's on. There, it turned on. Okay, well, it was acting weird, and now it's good. Okay, so that's only a 300-watt inverter, and I was trying to put 600 watts on there, guys. So that's, <laughs> that's uh, oopsie, on my, my side. 300-watt um, inverter, and as you can see, it's pulling out 181. And then what we're going to do is, since it only has one meter of input-output, we're going to burn this down to about, you know, I don't know, 85%. It's not going to take long, as you see. There's not much power in this little box. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to do this thing and then have 100 watts come out of here to see if that's really 100 watts. So that's awesome. That's awesome. And then we're going to try that one, too, the AC2A by Blue Eddy. Like I said, I believe that's the direct competition to this model. Um, both of them I like already, both. But this has extra things that the Blue Eddy does not. And uh, that's uh, surprising. Okay, so let's see here. This is 96 here, so it'll drop pretty quick. Uh, while we're doing that, we can try... Uh, what do we have that's USB, dear, that's local? Do we have any USB mm -hmm. stuff, lights, or uh, phone chargings, or I'll anything? I'll find something. I don't know. Okay. If you find something, I'll wait. Okay. I don't know what the... All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to plug in... We're going to plug this bad boy in here. And... I'm glad you guys were able to stay with us tonight. We really have fun testing this stuff, guys. I could ramble for 10 hours. We should do a ramble marathon. Uh, here's a C. Oh, you got a phone? Wait, we can do the top? Yeah, okay, you do the top. You know how to do that. You just lay it there. Uh -huh. 
Oh, yep. there it goes. Look at that. So, guys, you can't see it, but uh, oh, it turned on. It's at 10%. So that's going. As you can see, the output is going. And then this one, I'm going to put the GoPro. Yeah. So we're going to test all these little ports here and make sure they work. I like testing with average, ordinary stuff, guys, because that's what we all have at home. Regular, average, ordinary stuff. 95%, so it's dropping. Um, let's see here. What else? That is working. Yeah, see, that's a 400 watt heater. I tried to put on a 300 watt inverter. That, guys, is not a good idea. It doesn't work then. Yeah. Guys, we have 17 power stations now. And believe me, it is very difficult to remember what is what. So I try to make these cheat sheets that I call them. Uh, kind of like when you were in school, you kind of, you know, hide some answers once in a while to kind of cheat through there. But uh, I never did that, though. I never did that. So anyway, you know, you, you, you make these little sheets here, and they got a picture of the machine, the name, and all the specs of it. So you can go back and flip through this binder that I have, and then you can remember uh, how much uh, input, how much output, and whatnot. So you don't make that mistake. If you end up getting more than one power station, very, very important, make yourself a cheat sheet, because then you always have something to... Uh, relate to or go back to and figure out uh, what to do and what not to do with power stations or batteries or convert anything in life anything but uh, did you find anything over there uh, yeah I was gonna say this thing does that need to be plugged in uh, yeah we could charge that you got a, a regular uh, USB C to A yep. you need an A to C here all right guys we're plugging in all kinds of stuff and we're gonna need uh, something to twist uh, is my briefcase around here Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I, I think my little buddy's in there. Okay. Okay. That's a very good friend of mine in real life, guys. And uh, he made it He made it famous. He really did. He made it famous. He made it... Oh, you know what? That's not a C. That's one of those weird ones. Oh. Yeah, it's a micro. Oh. Okay. So do we have a micro anywhere? Oh, yeah. Holy crap, Zilla, guys. Stuff's going everywhere. All right. Well, we won't use that. We're, she'll try to find something as we keep going here, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is down to 93%, so that's getting there. And then... Uh, so this obviously works. Uh, the GoPro is charging here, and then this is, let's see, I plug it in here, and there goes the GoPro again. She's going to see if she can find something in the other room. Uh, we have energy coming in, and we have energy coming out, so that's that's awesome. That's what you want to see, guys, because that means it has a, a charge through, which means any energy that comes in, it deducts from here, and then the rest of the energy goes in the battery, so that's cool. That's cool. All right, so let's go to the 100 watt, okay? Going to the 100 watt out here. This is a one I'm really, really dying to, to test here. We're at 92% here. Um, here she's got, and then where's my little buddy? That's my buddy. He goes everywhere I do, guys. I carry him in my briefcase. And a uh, good friend of mine, he made it all the way to television for 10 years. He was famous all around the world. He still travels, guys. He still travels. He was just in Japan a few, a few, uh, what, a, a week ago or so? Or? In the UK. Oh, UK, sorry. Okay. That's Hornswoggle. That's my buddy there. Uh, he's not known as Hornswoggle anymore, but uh, he's known as Swoggle. But that's a buddy of mine. So he's going to turn and dance as uh, showing that that outlet goes. And it's charging down here. And now this one is going to be... I should have him in every video. Hmm. Yeah. Swoggle, should I have you in every video? Thumbs up. Send me a private message. Okay. Um, now this is the input of the power delivery port. So what we're going to do is we're going to unplug this. Actually, no, because it's, it's got a separate one. Uh, we're using three watts there. And I think this, is this working? Yeah. Let's see, yep, that's going, see? See, I did that. See, oh, do you guys see that real quick? Then my kitty's on it, see that? See that little 10? So that obviously works. And then, uh, I, it's almost full though, so. No. no it's not? It's at 10%. But oh, it's only at 10, okay, yeah. okay. Oh, well, then we definitely get to. That's why you're like doing it. Is it, is it charging now, or did, did I move it? You, you do it, yeah, you do it. Guys, these are really touchy, you have to get them, especially when you have a case. Yeah. What's that? It says it's fast wireless charging. Fast wireless charging. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's 15 watts, guys. That's good. That's good. So you can get a lot of energy in there when you need it. So you can get, you know, uh, to wherever you got to go fast. So that's working. Uh, my little buddy here is spinning. And uh, the GoPro is charging. And let's see. Now we're going to try the 100 out. Now this is the big one. You're going to see the numbers really rattle when you plug this in. I'm going to turn off the inverter here. Because remember, this only has one... Uh, uh, meter for in and out that's one one reason i don't like this system but if i go like this it'll show you what is uh let's see it's going to go in you know what when you go from in to out well i wonder if that's confusing to that mm. wow i know you know i never yeah which way does it go i never thought of that guys holy crap zilla 
Okay, so we let's not do this one then, guys, because I just thought of that. If you plug this, energy is going to go both both which ways. Mm -hmm. Wow, so I'd probably go from bigger battery to, you know, or a fuller battery to lower battery. I didn't think of that. What do we have that we can charge um, here? Well, we have your phone. Let's try your phone. Well, I didn't think of that, guys. This is actually a system where I have two... Um, here, 10%. Um, I, I have two input outputs here and I I didn't oh no wait this is oh yes yes it says in out and that's you know boy which way would the energy go I don't know holy cow I don't think we should try that yeah because it would be confused it would try to send energy both ways I haven't had many systems that actually have inputs and outputs on both C's so we're minus that idea because I'm glad I caught that before we tried that guys holy crap Zilla Okay, so that's charging. So now we're getting good power out here. And then we've got the GoPro going. And we got my little buddy dancing over here. And then uh, here we can put him up here on top of the little thing here. Oh. That's always fun. All right. He dances for money, girls. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. He probably does. Um, he, is a, he is a little person in real life. But uh, all right, let's see the temperature here. Let's see. Hopefully, Swaggle, you're watching. There's the 109. And that's pushing everything, charging in and out. Uh, it's still under that 110. I'd like to see that down a little bit lower. Uh, it is very hot in this uh, room here. You were just running heaters. Oh, yeah, that's true. Oh, guys, yep, yep. Good call. Rambler, Ram, Mr. Rambler Bob's right there. <laughs> so uh, it's uh, about 70 degrees in this room right now, and we were just running heaters too. So in the local right, area right here. To where it was, yeah. yeah, right to where it was. So yeah, yeah. that'll heat up. So let's, <coughs> let's see here. Do it. All right. Yep, see now it's done. Okay, it's dropping down. So uh, that's the 100 I'd like to see, guys. I like to see it hover around 100 degrees. Um, it's just, it seems better for the systems. I don't know. I'm not a professional, though. That's just my opinion. But uh, that's charging, that's charging, that's charging. The GoPro's charging. My buddy's dancing up there. Uh, this doesn't have the Wi Fi on it. You know what I can do? Hold on, hold on. Let's take this little guy down. This big guy down. Okay, we'll put him here. All right. We have him spin around here. We're gonna unplug this. We're gonna plug that in this phone because this has USB-C, and then this one can go up on the wireless thingy. Okay, that's charging, and now this one's charging. So now we have that phone going, that phone going. This thing's dancing. Um, this doesn't have the speed charging that that one does though. This is really fancy phone, guys. That's one of those S. What is that? S S21 Ultra? No. No. S23 Ultra. S23 Ultra. Holy crap, Zilla, guys. That's that's expensive phone. Okay, I think that's last year's phone, but that's still, that's a good phone, guys. There's a lot of processing RAM and uh, everything in there. Uh, so we're only bringing out 12 watts, which isn't much. So I'm going to undo this and see if any more is coming out. It's at 14% already. Yeah, we charged 4%. Uh, 4 uh, I'm sorry, dear. So let's, uh, there it goes. Okay. So, okay. So, yeah, see, so it goes up a little bit here. 16 watts. The fan turned off. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And the fan turned off. Well, because we we're not charging anymore. That's oh. that's a big thing. Yep. Mm. Yep. So there's where your heat was coming from, guys. Charging from the wall. It was loud. And no. Yeah, it was a little loud. Yeah. It's it, it's a plus and a minus. Like when it's a, working though. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. You can hear it working. That's a positive. However, if it's too loud, it's irritating. So, um, remember that's also on. I believe we had a fifty percent charge. Uh, uh, on the AC rate, so we can turn it down to oh, yeah, yeah. twenty-five percent charge, right. and that would obviously knock that fan in half. So here now we're getting down there to see our 96s. So uh, that's good. He's spinning. That's charging. That's charging. That's charging. And now we need something for here. Do we have anything that we can put in here? A cigarette lighter. Let's try um, a charging port, which is the port, this thing. Mm -hmm. And then, oh, you know what? Maybe, where's, where's that uh, energizer thing again? We'll put this over here. We're going to bring stuff out for days here, guys. We love testing this stuff, guys. We do this every day if we could. Every day. I, I think I do, but I don't film them all. All right, so this has an input here. I didn't think of that. So this has an input for the barrel. Let's see if it's the same size. Yippee-doo. Okay, it is. So that's the same size. Yippee-doo. That's my new word. All right, so we're going to plug this in the cigarette lighter. Holy Crabzilla's out. Holy Crabs. No, we like ho Holy Crabzilla. Yippee that's... Yippee-doo is in. Well, I don't know. What do you like better, Yippee Doo or Holy Crabzilla? I like Crabzilla. Crabzilla's been with me for a long time. Okay, so here you go. Look at that. It's watting. It's watting. What? What? Okay, 35 watts here. So we got 54 watts coming out all over the place. We've got the phone charging, the phone charging. This bad boy's charging. Now, this only has an input of like 
I think it's like 45 or 55 watts. That is <coughs> terrible for a power station, guys, because it takes forever to charge that one. Uh, it was good for its time, but obviously the technology is advancing so fast that these are really good. Um, let's see, obviously the temperature is going to be almost nothing now. See, it's 84, so it's dropping like a rock now. That's And it's obviously, I'll be quiet for a second, which is hard to do. It's whisper quiet in here. The thing's <laughs> running. Uh, are you laughing at me? Oh, yeah. You saw me quiet for a minute, and then you... <laughs> well, it's only a second, but you know, yeah. <laughs> but, all right, everything's working here, guys. And if we were to turn on the AC, let's see what the fan does. I'm going to be quiet for a whole millisecond. Are you ready? There you go. So obviously it, it stepped up and stepped down. See the fan is on? And notice, so the AC inverter in here, guys, that's where that sound comes from. Here, I'll be quiet again so you can hear it. Yep. So obviously it's still a little warm in there because we were just charging and we were using heaters and whatnot. But the AC is obviously uh, uh, the fan on the inverter. So that's where that, I'll leave it on. And that way you can see, uh, you hear it stepping down a little bit already? Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. My phone is at 15%. <clears throat> oh yeah? Yeah. All right, let's try, let's see. What else can we try? I Guys, I don't have, I wanna try something. Uh, let, me, let me stop this here. Um, I don't think I have a barrel for this 24. I was hoping that they'd give you one, but maybe it's maybe they did. Let's see. I don't know. This is an output though, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try it with caution. So I'm just gonna plug this in here just to see what the barrel is, and then we'll go through the specs. Okay, good. It doesn't fit. Okay, so this is 5521, and that's got to be 5525 or larger. So what I'll do now is I'll go through the specs again and let all this charge in real time. Oh, let's let's keep this going here. Yeah, I never tried to, I, I never thought what would happen if you put two, uh, 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 two way in, uh, uh, power delivery USB C's mm -hmm. together. Yeah. Like they would fight each other, wouldn't they? I don't know. Maybe they one knows. I don't know. Yeah, because the energy would have to go, you know, one way. I, I, guys, that's just something new for me. I've never tried that. Oh, here, he's, he's not dancing anymore. We've got to get him up here. Uh, oh, knocked him over. Oh. Guys, I got spaghetti strings going on oh. here. Sorry. My buddy Swoggly's all over the place. Okay, let him dance. He's a dancer. Okay, so uh, what we have here is, and we're going to go through all this, the, the specs of the entire system while we're letting that go in real time. And what I'll do is I'll also uh, charge it so you can literally have almost every port used except the AC. I think we'll do that one too. Babe, if you want to give me the, uh, uh, what do you think? Uh, how about a three? Oh, wait, it's not charging. Oh, I, it's not plugged in yet. I knew that. Okay. If you plug it in, there's no... It, you know, if you plug it up a cord, it helps, guys. I can't get it in the hole. Okay. Boy, it sounded bad on, on the radio. Okay. All right. Good thing it's a radio. Okay. So, uh, that's going to start going, right? And we're going to do the... Uh, uh, give, me, give, give, it a f give me the 200. Because, remember, that only comes in at the most at uh, so many. I don't want to burn this out. Or, you know what? Yeah. Yeah, give me, give me the 200. We'll throw it on there, guys. And because uh, I don't want it to burn up the energy too fast, and then we won't be able to finish this thing. Okay, that's going. So you're going to see that go up a lot here, guys. So you're going to see this kind of fight each other in and out, in and out. Um, so now what we have here is for the capacity uh, of the system. Yes? Can I, can I ask a question? Yeah, absolutely. What is that thing in, in your hands right there? Uh, this is called a cheat sheet. Yeah? Yeah. I think there's another word for it. Well, what, what's the other word for it? Instruction manual. Is that what this is? Yeah. Guys, I didn't know that. I thought they were cheat sheets. Are you going to read it? I'm going to read it. Whoa, okay. I, <laughs> well, I would have this on my cheat sheet, and I didn't make the cheat sheet I'll, yet. So. I'll, be, I'll be quiet. Oh, okay. She's quiet, guys. Okay, so the capacity of this is 288 watt hours. It's a 19.2 volt battery pack, and that's 15 amp hours, okay? So now we have all the hard specs of the battery cells. Now we have lithium iron phosphate. That is awesome, guys. You have about 3,500 cycles to 80%. What happens after 80% is imagine the foam on a beer. Uh, it, you know, with, with the beer and the foam, if I took off the foam, you'd have space in the glass. So that would be less space to put the energy because the cells gradually burn down. They kind of wear out kind of thing. So uh, that gives your, 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 your mind kind of a visual of what happens to the battery cells. So you fill a glass of beer and you take off the foam and boom, there's your 20% gone. So I don't drink beer, but uh, I, I use the soda reference. 
Okay, and then you have, uh, let's see here, uh, charging time, charge to 80% in 60 minutes. That's cool. That's uh, I, I call that uh, Apple iPod or iPhone charging. They, I think they invented that, I think, uh, that speed charging to 80%. And then obviously the last 20% takes a long time because that's that beer foam area where it has to go slow. Otherwise, the foam goes over that glass and onto the table. So you don't want to do that with energy. Otherwise, you start a fire. Okay, so uh, 100 percent is in 80 minutes so it only takes 20 extra minutes for that last 20 that's not too bad right that's not too bad at all so that would be uh one hour and 20 minutes for full charge all the way from zero to 100 percent not bad at all you have over voltage uh uh protection overheat protection the overload the short circuit and the self-recovery that's nice too because if it makes an oopsie it self recovers from that good Oh, there it is. <clears throat> there we go. Yeah, these you have to get so perfect, guys. I'm not. I'm not a phone person, but you have to get them so perfect. Oh, you had to check something. No, I was. I checked on the uh, status of it and it went down to 14, and I'm like, uh oh. So. Uh, Maybe I might have bumped it. I, yeah, I bumped the table, so I might have bumped it. Okay. It's is charging. it's charging now? I think. Oh yeah, I see the little thing. It had an arrow. Okay, so it's charging now, guys. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, your yeah, your your temperature rating is normal from 32 to 113. Uh, that's actually a little higher than normal. So that, that, that's that's actually pretty good. Uh, dimensions. Now here you go. So you have 10 inches wide, by approximately uh, 6.8 inches high, or no? Uh, what is that? Say? Okay, they they put it backwards. So it's 10 inches wide by 6.8 inches deep, by six inches tall. So now we have the dimensions, and then the weight is 10.6 pounds. Uh, it felt heavier than that, guys. Uh, maybe I should weigh it and test it, huh? It just felt a little heavy. It felt like about 12 pounds, I think I said in the first video. Uh, output specs here. You have 100 volt to 120 volt. Pure sine wave. Max at 600 watts. Which means that that's the rating. Uh, the, the rated output. Which means you should normally never go over that unless you have to for an emergency. And then the surge obviously is not much more than that. Pecron is not known for their surge. Uh, they have a very short surge life so if you need something stronger obviously keep that in mind um, USB A's you get two of those and that comes out at 5 volts 9 volts 12 volts at a max of 18 watts and you get two of those remember so we're using both of those now one to dance for the little buddy here and then one is doing the GoPro filming and charging that battery uh, let's see what else we got here the USB A that's the input output that does the 5 volt 9 volt 12 volt 20 volt max at 100 watts we're bringing out right now, uh, where's it going to the phone? I, I don't have a, a rating on it, so I don't know exactly how much power is coming out of there. You take this and divide it by all the mush we got going on. And we're using literally every port except one uh, of these. And uh, uh, actually, babe, can I have another uh, 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 heater, a small one? I know I have another small one somewhere. Uh, let's see. Not the four, yeah, perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna put another small one on here, guys, because I wanna really push this thing a little bit for a while while I'm yapping and or rambling, and uh, I wanna see if uh, if it can hold all that. So now we have um, two heaters on the floor, the little baby heaters, these guys, the little 200 waters, and we have two of those going, and you'll see that power obviously uh, shoot up. I, I think we have enough time because we're, we're bringing in 150, and remember, that's on the, um, what's it called, the 50% the charge. So let's really push this machine, guys. Let's let's go in the danger zone, right? Highway to the was it highway to the danger zone? Yeah. Yeah. What song is that? Is that Kenny Rogers, isn't it? It's Danger Zone by Kenny Loggins. Kenny Loggins. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, one's a gambler, one's a danger guy. Okay. Now I got it. Okay. Wait, this guy's dancing here. All right. So he's dancing. Okay. So we're gonna go in here now, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the charging, and I'm gonna ramp that up. Look at that. See, it's bringing in 160 which is the battery cells, okay? It's charging the battery cells at 160. That's what it's designed to do. But notice that it's coming in at 560. Now that's obviously the charge through, guys. The energy, the extra energy over the 160 is going directly through it all to these little bits and pieces here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the AC charging up to 100 and we're gonna see if it can take it. We're gonna danger zone this thing. All right, here we go. <coughs> So we got here 238, 37. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. 318. We're danger zoning, guys. 326. All right. Look at that. We got 710 watts coming out of the wall. 310 is going into the battery packs. And the extra 
400 and some is going directly to all this gobbledygook over here so uh and then that's running over here as you can see same about 319 it says 312 so these are a little bit off here guys 446 448 i'm going to try to keep this up somehow somewhere over the rainbow here let's see all right i know this is going to be a pain in the butt okay all right let's hope it stays guys i doubt it i doubt it is um i'm gonna put uh for the record this isn't mine it's a diet coke yuck okay <laughs> you gotta turn it uh, i'm a dr pepper guy but when i have to i drink those okay <coughs> if i'm all out of dr pepper and the only two uh dr pepper i have today is a two liter and that would fit on this desk so obviously with all this garbly goop going on here we have tons of stuff going on charging dancing uh phone phone uh this thing is going where again uh that's charging phones up here charging oh and the other one is going to the gopro so every single hole except the barrels is literally being used okay so we have uh let's see where do we live off here the barrels now here's here's the the good part here so it's a 55 25 output one that's the smaller one right there i wish i had something to point with oh there goes the phone here guys um do we have something to, to point with like a pencil or something like that all right holy crap so guys we got all we got so much stuff going on guys you, you can see it's charging okay there we go look at this little bad boy okay so this little port right here on the bottom here uh, i feel like a school teacher now. okay so this little port right here is a 55 25 okay don't click the button on that you're fine oh gosh what was that take pictures and stuff yeah okay it'll, it'll and that's a 12 volt at 5 amp output so it's about 60 60 watts output respectively on this port now the strange thing is uh, they did this and this is where you can get into trouble guys this other port which is here hopefully you can see that uh, on this side right here that's actually a 24 volt uh, yeah, 24 volt. That's a tongue tw tongue twister. 24 volt output. But here's the problem, guys. It's a 5525 output barrel. 24 volts at 5 amps. Now, what happens, dear? Where are you? Oh, she's coming back. She's looking. She's che checking for more tea. Okay, so uh, I'll. Oh, here I want to get. I want to ask you a question here, and then the scribers can learn too. Okay. So if you have a 12 volt output and a 24 volt. Oh my goodness. Volt. Volt output. And they both the exact same size barrel. Is that safe or dangerous? Dangerous. Why? Because you might get it confused. There you go. You might accidentally plug in your machine to the 24 or whatever you're using and hurt your machine. You burn out the boards or something or vice versa. Hopefully a 24 can go down to 12, but a 12 cannot go up to 24. That's like, <clears throat> I think like how like there's diesel and gas but the diesel thing yeah, fit yeah. for that reason that is a fantastic analogy good job okay so guys the diesel and the gasoline is obviously two completely different kinds of fuel right you cannot mix them up if you put diesel in a regular car you will not have that regular car anymore i can guarantee you that will burn that engine up so what happens is they change the actual you know the little nozzle that you fill up your gas with they're different sizes i don't know if, how many people out there that actually know that yeah. but the diesel is actually bigger that is a, a warning to prevent you from shoving it into your car I literally as a, as a young kid I did that once by mistake and I thought wow this doesn't fit in there I was a very young fella and it destroyed that car I, I won that car in a pool game it was a hundred dollars of my money versus a car and I won that in a pool game when I was I think I was, boy, I was 18 at the time. I think it was a lo many moons ago, guys. But I actually won a car in a pool game, and it was a 1978 Catalina Safari. Those of us who are over uh, my age know exactly how large that car is. I, 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 think, I think I got the bad end of that bet because, boy, you couldn't park that anywhere. It's like sailing a boat. So you got a boat. Yeah, it, it, literally, we called it the sailboat. But I accidentally, one night, uh, being you know a, a newer driver, new car owner, I actually tried to put that green nozzle in there, and I shoved it in there, and um, and I had to go, you know, pop, and then to get it out, and that was the dumbest thing I, I can remember doing with with uh, diesel gasoline. I've learned now, I obviously, but uh, boy, that was a on the spot. 
as no soon offense, as. No honey, but that's how I came up with that analogy. So. Uh, fair enough. Yeah. Hey, fair enough. <laughs> I stand. I stand corrected on my mistakes every time. Holy cow! I admit them. Okay, a wireless charger is 15 watts. That was a very good analogy, though. Very good memory. Okay, now your input specs. Notice this thing is all still going crazy over here. Everything's working like it should. And notice that this number is actually going up, which means that the energy I'm using of all this stuff over here is coming out of the wall, and uh, the rest of it is going into, see, 85. It's actually charging it while you're using it. So the charge through feature is fantastic on this model. And believe me, this thing is putting out some power for such a little box. You have 700, almost 800 watts of power going in and out of this thing, and it's running it like a champ. My little buddy's still dancing. The phones are still going. This thing's still charging over here at 35 watts. The phone's still charging down here. As you can see, it's running. But uh, I found that 19%. There you go. So you got another 5% on the phone. So that's very fast charging for a wireless. Isn't it fast charging? Yeah. Yes, fast charging. Okay, so your USB-C 1.0 is 20 volts at 5 amps uh, up to a 100 watt max. But now it says, now this is interesting, guys. It actually says that uh, you can go 5, 9, 12, or 20. So imagine if you could charge this battery through that input-output USB-C at only 5 or 9 or 12 or 20. That means if you had one of those little charging bricks, you could power dump that into this machine. That would be really cool. We should test that on another video. Okay, uh, and then you have the cigar port. Now, see, this is actually called a cigar port. Guys, that's a cigarette port. Okay. You ever seen it named Cigar Port? It's literally written right here. Look at that guy. Cigar Port. What the heck? Okay, I know it's a cigarette port. Some people call it a car port. They don't want to spell it cigarette, so they're like, close enough. Yeah, it says S-I-G-A-R. Cigar Port. Holy crap, a lonely. Is, wait, is that how you spell cigarette? No. No, it's a E. Okay, yeah, Cigar. No. Holy crap, Zilla. I've never seen that before, guys. And then... Um, uh, your 5521, that's your barrel that's on the side over here, and that could come in from 12 to 28 volts at max 100 watts. Now, this is the reason I make these little cheat sheets, and uh, those of you who watch the videos know exactly what I'm talking about. It's because this whole page here, I would take a picture of this, and I would put this on the cheat sheet, and maybe something like this, and that way you can have that, or you could just keep this. That's good, but sometimes it's hard to, you know, have a stack of these where you can just have a bunch of sheets. Um, and that way you remember, if I go over 28 volts, guys, I won't have a power station anymore. So that's something to always remember. See, power's going up, 87%, and he's still dancing. Okay, then you have the AC inlet, which is max of 300 watts. Wow, look at that. We're actually over. We're 300. I think it was 320. I think I've seen that spike, too. It says max of 300 watts, so that's good. Yep, look at it, 328, guys. It actually spikes up a little bit, so that, that's good. The extra energy. 316, that's Austin. Steve Austin, 316 right there. Okay, uh, and then you have your UPS specs. The UPS is AC 100 volts to 120, max of 600 watts. So it can only withstand up to 600 watts. I don't know if it can go a little bit over that like this one did, but uh, keep this number in mind here. Uh, let's see here. On the screen here, let's go over the screen here. So here you have the, the uh, Wi-Fi signal right here. That's the icon for the Wi-Fi. Here you have the Bluetooth signal. And then over here you have the UPS signal. And then this little circle here is the fan to let you know the fans on. Believe me, on this model, you'll know that the fan's on if you're using it, right? Oh yeah. You can hear it over there? Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's that, that's a that's a loud fan on this little box, guys. But uh, that's a look at how much stuff it's doing. Holy crap, Zilla. And then over here, this is your input power in watts. That lets you know how much power you're bringing in either from solar DC or your AC. And then in the middle, this is your battery bank. So this obviously when it fills, it's zero. Uh, actually 20 40 60 80 100 percent and then when it's empty it's obviously zero i i don't like these guys i think this is more of a visual i like these the percentage is so much easier to follow that and that way uh, when you look at it you go i know i got 89 percent otherwise you're in quarters which you know do you have 76 percent or do you have 100 right so or, or 70 uh, uh, 76 to 99 and then it goes to 100 so you never really know in between those numbers what you have this is the output now as far as the wattage uh, 436 out. Yeah, we're putting out almost 800 watts in and out here. And then this down here is the rate that you're charging. So it's on speed charging. That's why it's got the whole... So this little arrow will probably change here. 
uh, when you have um, a slower setting for the charging. Now, see, notice this dropped. Now, that's a good that it happened at this time. Now, when a, a battery station, uh, the better ones anyway, when they get to 90%, which I've noticed that on the E1500 LFP and the E300, it's a brand new model. It's only been out maybe not even a month. Uh, this step down here to that 50% uh, charging because it doesn't want to overfill that beer or soda in that glass, right? Uh, very dangerous for power stations. So it goes easy on the cells, and that way you don't overpower your machine. Very, very important, guys. Very, that's a big thing. And then uh, anywhere between zero and probably six, seven, or eight percent, it it also steps down until it gets big enough to where the energy is actually able to be taken in by the battery cells. So very, very good. This is an amazing little box here, guys. This has more features than probably what, what do you what would you say? Fifty, sixty percent of the power stations we have. Yeah. I mean, holy crapzilla, guys. You have wireless charging. You have no brick. Awesome. No more lunchbox. DC input in a barrel. I, I would have liked to have seen an XT60 or higher. And I have a video coming out explaining why. Uh, unless this is coming out after, then you already saw the video. Um, I'm not a fan of anything less than XT60 or, or stronger because it's, uh, even though that's only 100 watts, so that's fine. But uh, I, I like XT60 and up. I'd rather over do the the port then underdo it or equal it you know what i mean if i have a car that does 100 then i like to go 50 with it if if, if i have a car uh, a power station that does 600 i like to do 300 so I, i'm a 50 percent guy kind of guy um that way uh, you know the glass is half full so then you have the rest for emergency unless you know you need it um let's see here uh that's everything on the screen here guys very simple i cannot test the 24 volt uh, barrel output. I, I'll have a test later guys. What I'll do is I'll run that to possibly maybe some MC4s and I'll run that into a power station and see how much power I can get out of there. And I'll also try that with that too, but I have to rig up some wires here. And or may, I might have one, but I might have to build one. So you got to wait on that here. And then let's see the rest of it here. You have uh, the contents we went through already guys. Uh, oh, you know what we, we didn't go through? Uh, these are very, very cool features here, guys. So this is the DC button here. And when you click this, notice that this turns to 20 volts. So you can either follow the battery completion by voltage or you can follow it by percentage. A percentage is a lot easier for 99% of people, uh, probably 100% of people, unless you're really, really like electronic sparky kind of guy. Then, you know, you like the fancy... Uh, you know the voltage, but uh, this is very simple it gets hundred percent Obviously this goes down and just uses the power straight through like this wasn't even here And then it switches over if you were to unplug that from the wall That's what UPS is supposed to be for so charge through and UPS is not the same It's different charge through the energy goes through the device to the device and UPS is when this device is using this plug to the wall if i unplug it from the wall it switches to the batteries so some some people in us included when we first started got that confused here um so here's your 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 uh, solar power you can go straight in with a barrel or you can take a bigger uh 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 solar panel and put it uh, convert it from mc4 to barrel now this is the actual cable that i'm going to look for now if you're going to try this guys be very very careful because the, the polarity reversal is very dangerous i just helped someone out today uh with that if you have the uh, polarity reversed and there's no blocker in these things you will burn out a system in less than seconds depending on how much volts you're bringing in so very very dangerous guys uh the little pack and then that's pretty much it uh the the little uh what was it called the little pouch thing i think that was a fantastic addition to a fantastic product i think uh, as you can see it's i mean it's working it's working very well guys 32 we got 430 coming out. i got two heaters on the floor uh my buddy's still dancing over here the phone's still going it's still charging here uh this one's still charging up there uh what's your phone at dear hold on um uh, i'm checking right now is it 22 22 percent okay so that's obviously it was 17 last time we checked so guys we're going up like five percent every couple minutes isn't it yeah wow well, i ramble so much I, I i don't really speak in in minutes i usually speak in hours or quarters <laughs> so uh i'm gonna have to remember that joke okay uh i i think that would probably do it for today guys i i don't want to make the videos too long and this one already is pretty long uh, but I want you to see stuff in real time. I think that's valuable. Uh, I know it takes a long time to watch the videos, and I do appreciate you guys for being here. Uh, but I like to show stuff in real time. That way there's not the cut and splices and stuff. I want you to see the mistakes that I make with the systems. So if, you know, God forbid, you make the same mistake, we can work it out and figure out what I did to fix mine, and that'll help you. We have helped literally, how many do you think? Is it hundreds or... 
What, what is it? Is it thousands or hundreds? Yeah. How, how many people have we helped? A good bazillion. A, a, a good. A, what, what number was that? Yeah. A gadget bazillion. A gadget bazillion. Okay, I, I bet you that's more than ten, guys. Uh, we literally get um, we, at we, least five. Oh yeah, at least five. No, I five hundred. Yeah. Holy crap, Zilla, I guys. At least five. Anyway. I know because I I man the, uh, the the comments on the page and holy crap, Zilla, guys. You know some uh, some videos have a ton of comments and believe me, we are happy to help. That's why we're here. We started this channel because we didn't know anything about this stuff and we just thought there should be more beginner channels like this one that people can learn slowly and that's the key to electricity. Do not be rushing stuff guys. When you rush stuff quick, holy crapzilla, there's nothing but bad things to be said, uh, especially with electricity. Now I'm going to take this off because hey. Mrs. Rambling Bob is standing over here with her arms full with a little power station because... I was going to say next time. She, oh, oh, you want to do it next time or this time? Well, let's just do the comparison as the size. Okay, this is what she was holding, guys. Yeah. She wanted you to see, because she is a small power station fanatic. She wanted you to see, now this is a little bit bubble vision, guys, but she wanted you to see the size difference between the AC2A, which is a very, very small, yeah. capable little box, to the uh, Pecron E300 LFP. Now, I'm going to try to back up here, and then this is the Energizer. So you can see out of all three of those, that is the tiniest one of the bunch. This has only 204, well, about 205 watt hours, and this has 288 watt hours, right? Yeah. And it's smaller. So imagine how packed that stuff is inside that little box, guys. You have no brick charging, which means that the charger's inside there. You have DC input. The MPPT controller is jammed in there somewhere. The screen's going, all these ports. You have a wireless card on the top of this jammed in there. You have fans and ports in here, and you have a recessed handle that's in there that ate away some of the, like on this one, it ate away some of the real estate. And look at how small they got it. I think, hands down, this is a $200 uh, device here. You, If you use the uh, uh, code off my link, it's called Go Green, G O. G R E E N. You could do capitalized or not. You'll get an extra five percent off. They'll save you an extra ten bucks. You can buy a beer or so, some sodas with that, uh, and then you can use this for your next party. I think this is an absolute so far, so far a absolute ninety-nine percent perfect power station. I'm trying to think of what I'd like to see. Uh, I'm going to drop that down to 95. And the reason I did that is because I want these ports to be turned the other way. I think that's a frustrating thing. And that comes obviously with the, um, uh, the, the uh, power kilowatt meter. Remember, I have to put, I have to take this guy down. Uh, remember, you have to put it this way to use it. Now, you don't like that either, Miss Rambling Bob, right? No. You'd rather have it this way? Or the other see, way. See, uh, or this way, yeah. Anyway, but the screen. Yeah, yeah, because it covers the screen, guys. I, I, I don't like that because now you don't know the, the battery capacity, right? Because you're covering it. Uh, Bluetti did I did this one good uh, this way because now you can plug this in and notice that it's upwards and then you can still see the screen. So other than that, I think. Can you think of anything that you don't like so far with this system? I, I, I think that the ports should have been different size. Yeah. I think that's that's dangerous, guys. I wish one was, uh, maybe, uh, you know, like. Uh, just, just maybe an eight millimeter on the 24 and then a, a five. I'm not a fan of eight millimeter guys, but I would like to see these ports different size. So the average beginner as we are, we're still, we, we're two years into solar and we still look at ourselves as beginners because you're amateurs for a long time, guys. That's just how electricity works. That's why they have colleges that teach electricians. Um, I, I, I like to see those different sizes. So the the new person starting out just buying these for their, their kids or their college students or themselves, I don't want to see them plug, ac accidentally plug that uh, that barrel, the 5525 in there and uh, destroy whatever they hook it to because the voltage is way too high. So I would like to see these swapped. If they update this machine or make a different model, uh, please, Pecron, I know I complain a lot, but that's that's my job here. That's a review. I want to see these turned this way. I, I, I like that much better only because I use like the kilowatt meter and I'd like to see these different size. I do like that if you look at it closely guys, I like that they did put a warning. See there's a circle which means it's different, but if 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 that, you know, port is the same size guys, right? Um dangerous. I I Blue Eddie had the same problem with that. Where they had two ports that were the same size. I know they do that to save money, but I I don't like to see that. If this was an 8 mm, I wouldn't complain because then you couldn't put the 5 mm in the 8 or vice versa. I I think that's a a a, a very important thing uh for for uh 
new people are beginners, guys, because like I said, we still look at ourselves as beginners. We're just average people that, that bought a ton of this stuff, and now we're gifted a, 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 a good share of it just to review it for people. And that way, everybody can learn this together as a team. I think that's fantastic. All right, the phone is going. Uh, this one's charging. My little buddy's still dancing. It's charging from the wall here. It slowed down 95%. I think this test was very good. What do you think, Miss Rambling Bob? Woo! I think that was very, very... Uh, consistent test here yeah um i want to try one thing real quick i know i ramble on guys i, I know it and i apologize i want to get a let's start pulling stuff out here i want to get a usb please to a c a usb a to a c, a to a c. if you could find that somewhere here we need an a to a c okay beautiful and we're going to take this one and then we're going to turn this bad boy off here let's see okay we're going to take this one and get rid of that we're going to put the blue eddy over there here's the, she's, oh. do, she's doing double duty here Okay, now I want to try something, guys. I'm going to turn off these. Okay. All right, that's off. Okay, and I want to try one other thing because, like I said, I was going to try it in another video, but since I, I found this here, because I forgot I put it underneath the, the, the system here, let's unplug this and unplug this. Now everything is down to zero, except the input charging here. Okay, that's done. And now we're going to do this here, and we're going to do this here. And now you're back to that unbelievably extreme. Oh boy, I had one here. I had one plugged into the uh, the, the GoPro. Holy crap, Zilla. Okay, I want to try something, guys. All right, let's put all this stuff over here. I think this is a very, very doable little box. You know, it's amazing that every time we get a new machine, it seems like either new technology or they're getting better. Yeah. And that's the key, guys, getting better. Uh, I'll give her this little pen back for her phone. Thank you. And now what I want to try here, obviously, this is the loudest the fans get, guys. As you can see, that, that thing is a huffing and a puffing, guys. It's no joke. All right. And obviously, uh, 111. So, But we were using the GBs out of this thing, weren't we? Holy crap, Zilla. We're putting almost 800 watts in this little box. Look at this little box, guys. Look at this little box. It's stinky. Oh, and we didn't. We should have put the light on, too. I forgot to turn the light on. Oh, yeah, forgot it. Okay, well, next one. Hey, All right, so light we don't there you go. So what I want to try, guys, is my idea is this is 10,000 milliamps hours. It's not very much power. However, in emergency, that could save a lot of headache with charging uh, whatever. Like, say you had, a, 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 you know, use the light on here. You can dump the energy and use the light. I don't know. Uh, just there's so many possibilities to extra energy. So that's cooling down now, as you can see. So that's doing its job. I want to plug this into the input of the 100-watt power delivery port. Boy, I'm so glad I didn't plug the, the uh, power delivery uh, input-output to each other. Yeah. I wonder what that would... I, I don't think that would... Maybe it would cancel each other out. But, boy, that's... I'm glad I didn't do that, guys. That would have been an oopsie. Uh, hopefully someone said that in the comments. Don't do that. It's dangerous. But, like I said, that's why we make the videos, guys. If I make a mistake and destroy the system, you didn't destroy yours. Okay? So, now, what I want to do is I want to test this. I want to see if I can draw the energy out of here. Because, remember, in the instruction booklet, it clearly said... If we go back here real quick. It clearly said it was written there. I don't know where it was written. Hold on here. Boy, these books. That's why I don't read them. Okay. So, input here. Um, right there, it says uh, the USB-C... DC at 20 volts at 5 amps, and in parentheses it says 5, 9, 12, and 20 volts max up to 100. So that's input now. So this would come out at, I think, about 5 volts. So let's see, guys, if this can actually put energy in this box. What do you think, Miss Ramley Bob? You think it's going to work? Yeah. All right, I, I don't, but let's see. <laughs> let's see. Well, I'm <laughs> All right, let's start. So I'm going to plug it in. It's on here, guys. Okay. Yeah. So as you can see, the little lights are on. I'm going to set it here, and we're going to see, does it turn off, or does it actually charge? Look, guys. Holy crapzilla. Look at that. I think this is one of the first power stations I've ever seen where you could actually charge a bigger battery with this little dinky thing. She won. Yeah, say it. Go ahead. Ah! One. Yeah, buddy. Okay. Holy crap, Zilla. So look at we got eight watts going into. Now, obviously, that's not going to break any records, right? I don't think you're going to charge very far, but you know it's working. But imagine if this is what you had for an emergency, and you you know say you had a, a few of the guys. We have we have stacks of these. It's not even funny. We have twenty thousand milliamp ones. We have uh, how many? Three of these. Mm -hmm. We have a bunch of the five. So now, if you took those all together, right? You, I bet you could fill a very good chunk of this power station, and then use these to power something in an important time. 
That's cool, right? Yeah, you're right about that. I, I, yeah, because... Because I was thinking just use the power bank, but then you... Have yeah, then you have you no know, AC. Yeah. Yeah, you don't have all the fancy ports. Like, you don't have C on here, right? So if, you're, if your phone only took a C, mm -hmm. right? And or say that's the only cable you had, you couldn't get it. Uh, and you have... Uh, uh, well, you have this one. I suppose you could do this one. But uh, there's... Oh, there's these. Yeah, there's you could use those. There's so many combinations, guys. There's so many combinations. It's uh, it's unbelievable to me, and I was really, really surprised that that works. I was really shocked. I did not expect that to work, guys. Usually, you have to get the voltage higher than the battery uh, uh, pack. Otherwise, you know, the, the voltage has to be higher in one swimming pool than the other because that forces the water into the other side. You know what I mean? That's how voltage works. It pushes through the line and, and until it balances. But being that there's obviously a step-up module that takes from 5 volts up to whatever it needs to charge that, that's awesome. Through that little port, guys, that is a lifesaver. I, I, I guarantee it. I'll say it again. Uh, I know I rambled on way too long in this video, and I appreciate you guys still being here. That is a lifesaver port. I really, really like that. And I wish that they would put that port on every single power station ever made. Honey, now, look, it, it would take two you hours. You never ramble. What do you mean? I ramble. That's what I do. Since when? Every day, guys. Well, you clicked on the video. It says Rambling Bob, you know. So, uh, but here, 1.8 hours. So obviously, it would take a very long time. But if you were sleeping and you wanted to put all, uh, you know, a bunch of energy into this, holy crap, Zilla, guys, you could dump a lot of these into there and probably possibly fill these up depending on how many you have. Holy cow. I'm going to do a test and see how much 10,000 milliamp hours is to that. I, I think that would be 10 amps at 5. <laughs> which would be, that would be 50, is that 50 watt hours? If my math is correct, that would be 50 watt hours. So if you had four of these, right? Yeah. Uh, actually, no, six of these. If you had six of these, you could fill this whole power station. And I have two big 20s. Don't you have a 20? I think I You do. have a 10. Or that thick one? Yeah, I think yeah. it's a, is that 10? I don't know. Yeah, I think it's a 10. So you here we got 20, 40, 50, 60, 70. 80, 90, we have, we have, we have probably 100,000 milliamp hours of these things just laying around the office we because we don't use them anymore. We have these things now, guys. So you can bring these, you know, from your, your storage and use them for something positive. Guys, I think this is a very good ending to the perfect video so far of this power station. I want to commend Pecron definitely on this model. This is a, a lousy 200 bucks, guys. In solar power, holy crap, so I can barely get you a solar panel. I think that is a phenomenal beginner. Uh, same with the AC2A. I like them both. Yeah. But I, I think this has more options than the AC2A. I do like the app on the uh, Blue Edge AC2A better than this app, but <coughs> I give them time. They just started with the apps, guys. So I, I have to give them time to you know either catch up. Blue Edge's got a, a really good head start. But uh, I, I, like I said, I don't like these. I think they're facing the wrong way. And I wish these were different sizes for safety. Um, maybe even different colors. But I, I like different sizes means you can't put it in there. I think that's safer. All right, guys. If you're not a subscriber of this channel, we try to build a subscriber family, guys. We all try to get together and help each other with this stuff. Because, like I said, if you make one bad mistake, you may not have a home anymore. This stuff could be a, and is very, very dangerous stuff to play with. Um, when you're learning solar, go slow, guys. If you want to join the subscriber family, and feel free to talk amongst our, our community here. If you have a question or problem, all the guys and all the gals that are on this channel, they come running and say, hey, this is what I did. It helped. And we can figure out problems together as a group as opposed to buying this, opening it, and then just trying to figure it out yourself willy-nilly. That's, that's always tough. So what he means is... Hit that subscribe button today! Yeah, hit the, hit, hit the, well, it not, it's not a subscriber button. Uh, it's a subscriber. It's a scriber. Oh. Remember, the, we don't have subscribers. I wanted to we translate got, from Rambling Bob. Oh, okay, fair enough. Yeah. So if, if, if you want to hit that subscriber, like the video, oh. guys. It helps YouTube let other people know, hey, this guy rambles a lot. But there's good information in here, and, and, and uh, it helps a lot of people. Like I said, we help probably, I, I want to say five or ten people every day for the last year. I mean, holy crap, Zill, it's been a busy year. But we thank you. We reached over 1,000 subscribers already. Hey. We're an official channel now. Holy crap, Zilla. And guys, this works. Awesome. All right, guys, ramble on. Be safe. And we'll definitely see you next time here on Rambling Bob Reviews. Bye, Bye. guys.